Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing this here adventure of Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Last time, we went and, uh, well, did a lot of things. We saved Agumon and Gabumon from a Rocky Horror Picture Show internet-speaking rock star. That was weird. We beat up a crustacean shell monstrosity within a, oh, the digital world is invading the the real world. Well, I guess the physical world is not real, real world if there are, like, multiple worlds. <laughs> you can't really have a real world and fake world when both are real worlds. And uh, right now, we have this here mission to do. A life crisis. Click, I lost a gear, click. If I don't click, find it, click, I'll die. And we get excitement, exciting meat. And I think we already, like, uh, digivolved everybody that we're going to digivolve. In fact, let's take a look at our team. <laughs> Black Gatomon, the goddess of the hour who just bitch slapped the last boss we fought, <laughs> literally, because it had a lot of defense, but not a lot of health. So a guaranteed 150. It did good. <coughs> huh. Well, let's see. Where did the mission say thing was? Just make sure. Broadway floor one. Okie dokie. Oh, kada. Now we just need to be on the lookout for weirdness down here. Anything new? But first I'm going to sell a bunch of things. Huh. And now I can buy more expensive HP capsules. Medical Spray DX. Hmm. Revival, full revival. Mm. Oh yeah, that's that's not the thing. This isn't buying, this is selling. I am dumb. And Miracle Meat that we should probably use. Feed that greatly increases AM and AM ABI. Let's see. Got a milked phone. But no. Developer know how. Increase the quality of items made in development. So if we get like a. a bippity pa. But we can buy more. Wait. Attachment D's? Oh no. <laughs> but no attachment. So we have a. Uh, Greater attachments, <laughs> so like you can do one more lightning paw, but then that's just it. Still ease on everything else. You know, I kind of wish that there was like an instant, hey, you got a message, immediately take me to Digiline. Run it down, critical waters, correct, you're amazing. Keep your complaints to yourself, just avoiding complications, Cyber Sleuth. All right, let's connect jump. Well, this is gonna be fun. You're the one who took the case. To tell the truth right now, I'm not feeling too good. I'm probably just about to die, so I... One of the cogs that makes up my body, I lost it somewhere. It should be somewhere in this dungeon, please. Bring it to me as soon as possible. Oh boy, okay. We will start on lefty side. Be utterly hilarious if we found it one go. Great. It's a maze. Down. Okay, don't know why there's a runaround. SP uh, D. Wait. A speed attachment D? Uh, where's the attachments? Ah, it's under equipment. Huh. Interesting. In fact, does everybody have items? You do not. Oh, SP attachment, not speed. For some speed down there. You can, you can see my confusion. 
they have the same goddamn letters. <laughs> plant guard, plant attribute damage, negative 20%. Eh, since we got it for free, why not? You still have the CAM. You still have the pin block and attachment. Alright, so we completely cleared out that one. The top left. Or I guess top left left. You know, like north by northeast. But yeah, this is a big old maze. Oh dear! They are bigger! Nightmare! Nightmare! Kill! Very not good. Very not good. Well, he's confused, so we could take this opportunity to revive. Or I could swap someone in. Should I swap? Let's see. Hmm. All in all, I don't think so. I'm gonna revive. Revival capsule! Is everything. Greymon's gonna be a nightmare, I'm guessing. Try and dark. Now let's go ahead and get rid of you. So we can just deal with Greymon. Scissor Claw, kill! Hmm. Kill! Oh, what? Okay. I probably should have brought Patamon in. And we got a message. Yokomon is max level. Huzzah. I'm gonna save, because I'm scared now. Hmm, but should I reorganize? I could bring Patamon in. Even though Patamon is... Uh, no, I probably should keep this. Team. Oh, we're here. Was there anywhere else to go? No. Just wanted to make sure. The fight had me scrambled. Alright, so... Both left and top right right is done. Let's go top left top. Huh. Here's a jump down point, though. You're scary, and you're faster than me. Lightning paw. Luckily, you're weak to me. Probably should have done Woken Napalm too. Okay, luckily you're super weak to me. But yeah, running into champion levels in here very scary. It's good for leveling, though, I guess. So if I ever have other Digimon that I just want to level up, I can do it here. Alright, I think we're in the right place. It doesn't feel like there are other places to go that much. Got small gear. Ah, you found it! Quick, insert into the hole in my back! Look, so I'm still alive? 
Great, just in nick of time. I think you should have done... I would have done it... Would have been done for if you hadn't helped me. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. But yeah, this place is... I'm going to wander around just a little bit more because... I'm interested if this is the level of things we're going to be running into. Lightning paw you! Die! Okay, he's panicked. Good. Bastard. Now that he's panicked, let's go ahead and get rid of you. Never mind. I said get rid of you. You're panicked. Kill yourself. Panic does not seem to help. Crescent leaf. Just normal attack, sins. <laughs> of course. Let's power up the, the, the normal attack. In fact, a normal attack should do you in. This place is scary. I'm actually gonna have to fight things. Also, there are a troubling amount of actual, like, digital connection places in this thing that house powerful Digimon. All right, let's go to the island. Who is it that needs... Oh, Yokomon is max level. Let's see. But can't becomes... Uh, because CAM is too low. Then I'm going to quickly save and... <coughs> see if we can feed Yokomon the... The meat to raise it. Oh, on standby, because it has the thing. Because he had... Command! Investigate. Yokomon, let's see. I feed you this. Haha. <laughs> now let's see. Yokomon, did you evolve to this Digimon? I really should buy more of those meats. Oh! You become him, Wormon! Neat! There's another plant one, so we probably won't bring you on on, but hey, nice to have you on board. And I don't think any of the other Digimon are that are like currently here. Salomon almost. <laughs> Those two are far, far away. And Kawagamon's kind of... I want to see. <laughs> the digital network. We could have just raffle stomped those. But yeah, if I ever want to, like, level up, like, the CAM or... Well, maybe not the CAM, but, like, level up other Digimon super quick, I could just go to one of the places here. The dungeons that are just right here. Sleuth rank up! Became apprentice sleuth. Great word. What do I say? Pour you a cup of coffee for your trouble. Uh, hmm. Now I forget where we were going. What we were going to do. So, let's go talk to our hint giver. Oh my, I've wandered off. But once again, we're out of time. Perhaps you should go back to your real job, Cyber Sleuth. <laughs> if you get lost, do come again. What? get back to my real job, so take more cybersloop jobs? Guess I could wander around Kowloon and other places. In fact, you know what? What's a super simple one? In the Zaxxon Forum. We'll take that one. 
Connect jump. <coughs> Let's go to the Zaxxon Forum. And nobody cares that there's just a Digimon here. Oh, I bet you're here because of me. No need to be shy. I know I'm a real charmer. Here's the thing. I lost a precious thing of mine, and I want you to go out and find it for me. I lost it somewhere around Zaxxon Forum. You can take my word for it. I'm never, or never wrong. If you get back, I'll make sure to repay you. How'd you lose it in here? It's a single room. It's just <laughs> hilarious. My precious thing. You'll find a reward back at your office. Hilarious. I find that genuinely hilarious. Just log on to the forum. Nobody's reacting to this Digimon. Tricking out lost objects is amongst the most basic. Yep, yep. And let's see. In Kowloon level 1, Kowloon level 2. Let's go ahead and take Kowloon level 1. Just... Why not? Then I need to decide if I want to swap any Digimons out. And maybe I should also, like, wander around the Edens quickly. There's Mr. Navit, the Psycho. Oh. Okay, his model looked like he was nothing but blackness from a distance. So it was just like, gasp, is his model hacked, broken? Like, not like actually hacked or broken, but like in-universe hacked or broken. Just looking around, see if there's anything. Right. These places feel like a kind of a waste of space almost. But oh well, let's go to Kowloon level 1. Oh yeah, we can go to Kowloon level 3 now. And there's just a dude back there. Am I going to have to fight him? Ah, my good detective. I'm delighted to see you. I've made it clear uh, to... Uh, brain getting too fast for the words. I am delighted to see you have made it here. I am the Digimon who filed the case earlier. I'm terribly embarrassed to admit it, but I have lost something most precious to me. Were I to hazard guess, I would suppose you might find it around Kowloon Level 1 or thereabouts. As such, I wish to solicit your assistance in retrieving it back. If you could find my precious thing and return it, I would be most appreciative. Are we going to have to beat up that guy? He's just standing there, menacingly. Blase. I heard some of those Zaxxon guys called it quits. Rumor is they went off and started their own group, the Demon Hackers or something. So much for the Zaxxon unity they keep going on about. Everything's going crazy. Won't be long before the purge starts. Terrifying, but okay. And the lack of music is also kind of... <laughs> There's just an enter key floating there. I've never noticed that before. Hmm. And since we're in an easier zone, let's bring these guys in. Let's have B team beat up some people. I was hoping to beat up some more people. We'll get into one fight for B team. 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 Freeze Fang. Kill. And Salamon. Holy Light. Hmm. Magic attack. Let's see. <laughs> Utterly adorable. If only you had more health. Then I would, like, bring you in, but... I just bring you in, then you just get nuked from orbit by most enemies. So having a team of okay, but large health is just nice. Especially if I don't get a turn to even, like, use you. Here's your property. I shall endeavor to send compensation to your office for your marvelous work. Truly, I am most grateful and indebted to you. Hilarious. But I probably should go to, like, Kalu level 3 again. 
Especially if, like, nothing happens with this. Hmm. I guess I can grab this, and then as we go to, like, investigate... Kowloon level 3, we can just drop by Kowloon level 2. Grab the stuff for Galmon. I think things should be simpler here. Hi there, Detective. How are you doing today? This is a bit embarrassing to admit, but I lost my precious thing somewhere. It's making me super sad. I was wondering if you could go look for it around about, um, I don't know, Kowloon level 2? If you find it, I'll give you something fancy in return. What do you say? Please? It would be hilarious if, like, all of the Digimon and stuff were actually voiced. But that would be, like, a lot of voice acting. For God's sakes, even the main characters aren't fully voiced all the time. I forget, is he normal? The guy standing behind the box? I'm gonna go talk to him, because I don't remember him. Oh, it's a her. My bad. Those demons are super creepy. Some guy kept trying to come on to me. I had to shut him down. Even after I told him to bug off, told him I wasn't joining one of those teams, he flipped out on me and some of his Digimon. I called my own to try and break away, but he kept uh, uh, right on coming. I barely made it out before he wiped my account. So just remember, stay on your toes. Those guys are crazy. It's you again. Let's see. Eh, just kill him. How dare you survive? By the power of light, God smite you with knuckle. Kind of hilarious that they actually leveled them up. But so far, Patamon hasn't gotten to do jack. This is mostly just to level up their CAM. We shouldn't have much trouble. Kill him. Go, my mage. Magic attack. So, it seems like a lot of things in the early game are really weak to magic attacks. Interesting. What be the message? Mm, got up early for a change. But a little longer wouldn't hurt, would it? You woke up early? That's great. You should keep it up tomorrow, too. That is a mood. Dependable replier. Just like in real life. People message me, I message them. They don't message me, I don't message them. Soon we'll just be able to make our own Biumon. Eh, kill the little one. And to test my theory even more, magic attack. So magic attacks are just badass, apparently. And because I'm paranoid, I'm gonna go take this route. See if they're like, <laughs> we're gonna hide the bibbity ba right around the corner. Eh, just smack him. Get headbutt by the cute puppy cat. God's sakes, where is that item? It's this weird thing again. I don't even know you. I don't know what you are. We're leveling up this to kill this little thing. Hilarious. Heh. <laughs> Alright, either, either I've never used that attack or... <laughs> uh... Interesting, either way. A scream of light. Now I'm imagining someone screaming and Light Yagami rockets out and punches somebody. So 
we'll just be able to create a Biomon. Works for me. Oh yeah, it's Puppy Howl. Intelligence penetrating, so... So basically, I'm assuming magic is defended by intelligence. And you can just intelligence penetrate somebody. Funny. I hit you with church bells and I laugh. Oh, it's just right here. Huzzah! But still, I wanted to make sure I covered all my bases. Because if it wasn't there, and I went all the way around and saw it was in the little offshoot dead end place, that would have been that would have been sad. And now we can go to the Digilab and make a Biomon. Hilarious. Holy light! I find it funny that it lets you know when you got 100%, but not when you've gotten 200%. Yeah, I just can't wait for Digimon Survive to come out because I've just been on a Digimon kick right now and I love it. Let's see, just kill the little one. It's reliable. Let's see. Headbutt it. It lived. Now Patamon gets to do a thing. Air shot, heavy strike, sonic void. Hmm. Sonic void. That honestly seems horrifying. All right, Galmon. Awesome, you found it, Detective. I knew you could do it. I already sent off your award to your office. Thanks a million. You're the best. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh wait, ah. We don't have many, like actual points. Spiral Twister, prevents instant death. All right, <laughs> that sounds nice. I wonder if that means like actual, what? That costs 12, ah, let's see. My Kawagamon only takes six. Granted, my Black Gatamon and Growlmon take eight, so it's possible that Kawagamon is like a lower level champion. Still, then what the hell? That guy took 12? Horror, the horror. Hmm, but let's see, who's on farm? And the, oh, the farm can take more. To the Digibank. Let's move the Biomon over here. And uh, Sunamon. Very interesting. All right, now let's head on up to level three. Unless the game wants me to actually wander around and go someplace. That's possible. Let's talk to that person and then we'll instead head back in, like, talk to go about the real world, see what happens. You know, I used to be a Zaxxon when I got my Digimon. I wanted to convert them so bad. Once I heard... Oh, Dark Conversion. Yeah, we already talked to you about that. Dark Conversion. Still don't know about that. Yeah, let's go about the actual, like, world map. I guess first let's, uh, like, go up the steps one by one. See if there's anybody, like, new or anything new going on. That might spark a new 
diddly dee. Jimmykins is popular as ever. He's at the top of the indie charts at every shop. Even though he's a bastard. In fact, we might even try the offline dibbity da. Hmm. I want to see. Hmm. Wrong place. CAM at 55, 33, 27. So I guess decent enough for what everything. But yeah, since we're going to take on the try of the. Oh, wait. We were already down there. Me foo. I'm just looking around for anything out of the ordinary. Like an exclamation point over somebody's head. She still has nothing new to say. Then let's just check here. Oh, that just, well, I forgot. That place doesn't have a downward bibbity bop. Presenting our offline coliseum. Hmm, there's nothing I want to ask. Can I just do it? Be nice if I could like actually activate it. I'm playing hide and seek. Stop! They're gonna find me. Just take this and go away. Hilarious that I actually found it. Oh, there we go! Fight in the Coliseum. Battle for the Bronze Cup. Go! I am going to annihilate you, child. Meanwhile, I hope I get to choose cups after this. Oh, they're actually decently strong. Then we shall annihilate them with impunity. If they can survive a decent attack, then fine. They get my full attention. My Digimon is just the cutest! I don't believe you. Now your cutie, cutie, cute, cute is dead. How does that feel? Oh, fuck. Another fucking Poyomon that does five billion damage. Destruction cannon. Well, it doesn't do five billion damage, but takes it. Walk in Napalm 2! Destroy it! Eh, just normal attack. Hello! Cower in fear. Oh no, it's a businessman! My job is a series of failures! At least let me succeed at this! No. Annihilate it! Exhaust flame! Lightning paw. Woken napalm too! And now you're doomed. How dare you hit my Gutterman! <gasps> now you must die! Everybody leveled up there. Except for Quagamon, because he leveled up last time. How cute. I won't hold back just because you're a kid. You have angered me. You have angered me, and now you will die. Die. I'll let that one live. Because... I want to use my newfound Kawagamon kill everyone move. <laughs> Your Digimon must hate each other. Gale Storm. Well. <laughs> that little 
pacifier, little bitch. Critical hit my Growlmon. Woken Napalm. We are using Napalm in a children's game. Yes, yes, it got to 100%. That just means we're halfway there. Ah, uh, great. One of these. I know what you're thinking. Maybe I can get through this. Maybe I can win. Sorry, but I'm here to show you you're wrong. Why do you get to go first? Die. And confused. What a fool. Woken Napalm. Interesting music. <laughs> they made it sound like, oh, this is gonna be a hard fight. CRT attachment C? A crit attachment C? Oh boy. Oh boy. Possum, you're the Bronze Cup Supreme Champion. Now onto the next challenge. Ta da, here's your prize. Brave Point E. Take a look. Uh, it's a V under equipment. So, crit by 5%. And, uh, what's that other thing they gave me? Brave Point E. 2500 experience. Very nice. And we should probably go sell these. Yeah, I hope I get to replay the bronze one. I have lots of medals to sell you. And apparently it's only worth 380. And now I want to look at them. Because I can't look at them if I own them. Let's see. Agumon Expert. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've, I've actually seen that before. But it's still hilarious. And this one has a nice effect to it. It actually has that kind of shiny. Also like that the numbers on the bottom are like, uh, digital. Ah, oh, Ikakumon. We haven't run into you yet. Nor made you. Upamon. I remember you, but I'm not sure what. I admit you might have just been a minor character. Or maybe like one of the like, uh, in-training forms. Still want a Gazimon. Still want a Gazimon. I think one of the cool things about, like, uh, this is that if we, like, run into a Digimon, we should be able to know them. My, com <laughs> my overall completion is 4.7%. <laughs> of course, they went with the most terrifying picture of Tokomon. Pagumon. Patamon. Pabumon. You have to wonder how many, <laughs> like, of those kind of naming schemes they've just ran out of. For God's sakes, they already have, like, 700 medals alone. Nope, doesn't seem like there was anything in here, but I did fight in the Bibbidi Bop, so that was nice. So let's head to the map. You can go to Shibuya now. We'll wander around Shinjuku. Because why not? Just look around for everything. Maybe see if there's any new costumes. I don't think they do, like, new costumes. Pristine dealers. I'll keep my money for now. I like my Beelzemon shirt. Wonderful to say there's no reason to go inside. 
Do I even have that? A part of me is partially waiting for uh, Kazuma Kiryu to just come out of nowhere and start suplexing the player character. And I don't think there's much reason to go to the to Toyosu condo, so let's go to Shibuya. Touchdown at Shibuya. Time to start macking. Weirdo. Weirdo! You're a weirdo! I'm waiting to... I'm going to 109 to look for Argyle socks. Ugh, I also wanted to Paisley Kilt and Natam. Obviously, she's a psychopath. Ooh, I've really been looking forward to the shopping trip. Which store should I hit next? Wait, we're not finished yet? I'm so tired. I, don't, I forget who was saying who. I just did the voice. Yesterday I bought the cutest hat in Edom, but now I want a hat like that in real life. Is that greedy? I've heard that if you go, get too into Eden, you'll catch Eden Syndrome. That's awful. Don't say things like that. I'm scared enough to go to Eden as it is. Why would you have, like, the the outfit ones? Oh, you're just standing in the middle of the road. Why does nobody pay attention to me? They never notice me. Not one person. I notice you. But woe to thee who finds the entrance there. That's probably why they never noticed you. For if you make it, you only meet despair. ha 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 ha. Well, we better get out of the street. Granted, there was a guy walking past us, so it wouldn't be bad. We should see if there's a new case to investigate. That's a little weird that we have to come here, get ghost jump scared in the middle of the street just to get a case, but oh well. I don't feel like cleaning the farm today. Maybe I should go tell Mirai. Don't say that, she's always taking care of you. Yeah, but it didn't seem like there was much to do in Shibuya. It's just, hey, go to Shibuya. See a person. Panic. Go to Shibuya. There are people. Panic. What horrors of seeing people. Yep, yep. Tricking down lost objects. Hibbity bibbity. Ah, new. Scramble Pentagram. In Odin Occult Research Club. Place Shibuya. The legend of Shibuya Hirasa Hirasaka. Need help verifying it. Get a thousand and a panic barrier. Not bad. And plus it's urgent. So you're the president of the Inodin Occult Research Club, right? It, yes, and my name is uh, Mai Kokusho. Kokusho. All right, what have you got for us today? Well, I was wondering if you could help run an experiment to test an urban legend and see whether it's true or not. Oh, I like the sound of that. It's not something we get around here every day. Anyway, what legend do you have in mind? Well, it's called Shibuya Hirasaka. And it goes like this. At the Shibuya Scramble intersection, there are five hills, each of them going in a separate direction. You split five different people up, one on each road alongside those hills. Then you have them all head toward the Scramble intersection as they sing the Hirasaka song. If everyone makes it to the center of the Scramble intersection at the same time, right as they finish singing... What? Do their wishes come true or something? No, a dead person is brought back to life. Horrifying. Huh, can't say I've heard that one before. Reminds me of some old Shinto stories. I can see what makes the legend so appealing, though. You have to make it to the center through the constant crowd, all while singing. Pulling it off sounds like no mean feat. Indeed, we've tried it at the club several times, but we always either bump into people or get held up by a traffic light. But we've heard rumors about your organization, so I thought I'd see if you could help us somehow. Rumors? Like what? Oh, like how there's a detective agency in Nakano dealing in the occult that has a supernatural ties to another world? And if you go to it at 2.22 a.m., there's a door to that other world that shows up. Stuff like that. Jeez, I know we work in the shadows here and all, but to think we're so infamous as to be having people make up urban legends about us. Wow. D don't take it the wrong way, but still, if we could prove that legend is true, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be a real boon for my club. What do you think? I know you, your main work here is hunting down ghosts and spirits. Not technically wrong. <laughs> but will you do it for us? I think that line was meant to be, I know your main work isn't hunting down ghosts and spirits, considering how that sentence ended. 
And considering there's been a few other wonky lines that maybe I misread or... I don't know. Meh. Wait, what? Hunting down ghosts and... Where do people even come up with this stuff? Maybe they... Okay, maybe it was correct. It's just the way the sentence ended felt weird. Play. Now you've really got me curious. Well, my assistant doesn't know a thing about it. Yeah, I don't know where I heard it either. <laughs> Silly me. Don't worry about it. We'll take up your case. We need a little time to get ready, so could you wait for us elsewhere in the building? Uh, thank you so much. I have other members coming too, so I'll just wait for the outside for them. Looks like we've got another weird case on our hands. But a case is a case. What are you going to do? I'm going to start preparing for our Shibuya Hisaka experiment. Why don't you go talk to the other club members and learn more about the legend? Hilarious, though. Urban legends have started to crop up about us. Farm 1, investigate command completed. Found two cases. I guess then we can, like, leave, jump into the Digilab, and begin... ...the investigation again. Farm Island. I command you, investigate more! I'm gonna get lots of cases this way. Hopefully I finish this in under 30 minutes so that I can do it. Have you ever heard of the lyrics of the Hirasaka song? It goes like this. To hear of it a curse, to see it even worse. The depths of Shibuya, it's where we all must cross. When you feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go at the bottom lies a secret hidden world but woe to thee who finds the entrance there for if you make it you only meet despair you only meet despair i probably made it much more upbeat than it should be you have to sing it while heading towards the center of the shibuya scramble intersection for the legend of the shibuya hirasaka to work Still, very odd. Oh, you're here. Shibuya is filled to the brim with hills no matter where you look. There's Konosaka, Mas Masaka, Organ... Organzaka. Really, you could say that Shibuya is like the valley for all of Tokyo, and I don't just mean geographically either. There's just so much information and the energy that flows into it from all sides. Mai thinks that's why Shibuya is so popular to begin with. I think it's popular because of, uh, hills. There are five specific hills you have to use for Shibuya Hirasaka. Do uh, Dogenzaka, Bunkamura Dori, Koen Dori, Miyamasu Zaka, and Maiji Dori. If you look at them on a map, they even form a pentagram. Wait, what do you mean you don't see that? Well, I didn't even get to see it. Rude. I didn't get to see the pentagram hills. Slacker Lily. Hmm, why am I wearing this maid outfit? Because I have to get back to work once we're done here. I came here because Mai really needed enough people to help out, but I can't say I'm otherwise super eager about the whole thing. I mean, there was an actual girl who died doing this, you know. Apparently, she was doing everything you do for Shibuya Hirosaka and got hit by a truck right when she started crossing the street. I just want to hurry up and get this over with so I can leave already. Shibuya, the scramble intersection, a truck, an accident. Yes. Nice music, at least, for the... <laughs> for the... Bibbidi bop. All right, I've got everything all set up. Get to the club boat members together and take them over to Shibuya. I'll be giving commands from here. Meanwhile, I want you to join in and help perform Shibuya Hirosaka as one of the five people. <laughs> of course, it's playing kind of action-y-ish. Like, not really action-y, but like... It's action music for... It's I, I, I have a hard time describing the essence, but we'll continue on. Can everyone hear me? We are now going to commence verifying the legend of Shibuya Hirosaka. I've hacked into the cameras at the scramble intersection. I'll be watching you all from here and giving you commands that necessary. Keep your eyes and ears peeled and be ready for anything. Now let's get started. To hear it of a curse, to see it even worse. The depths of Shibuya, it's where we all must cross. You're doing great. Keep up that pace, Lily. I need you to speed up a little more. When you feel alone, 
down you must go when you feel low down you must go good good you're all about to reach the scramble crossing the traffic lights should cooperate too that being said just in case i went in and rigged it to work in our favor too just go ahead and cross at the bottom lies a secret hidden world but woe to thee who finds the entrance there for if you make it you only meet despair you only meet despair well how'd it go we, we did it we all made it here at the same time yeah i guess we did huh yep without a doubt where's the ghost What the? There's nobody here. Where did everyone go? Oh, that's what the horror is. You're right. There aren't even any cars around either. Looks like we've lost contact too. Wait, what? what's that? Ah, oh, yes, we lost contact. Meanwhile, Sunamon in the farm is at max level. <laughs> so I'm guessing we made it to the digital world. Well, let's talk to everyone. Hello, detective, are you there? Hello? It's not going through. I can't reach her. Did we actually succeed? No, I'm not so sure. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have tagged along for this thing. <laughs> Mood. I don't like this. It's giving me the creeps. Since when is Shibuya ever this quiet? I wish that there was, like, fog to make it super creepy. Why doesn't anyone pay attention to me? Or maybe... They actually do notice me. Oh, sure, everything's fine. Totally. Ah, weird that I can't actually cross the street. I have to cross walk. I can't live here anymore. I can't live and be here anymore. And they're not noticing the teleporting creepy girl. So I'll. Who, who are you? How long have you been here? I'll die and remain here. Here at the bottom of Shibuya. In the other world. Sh she vanished! Ah! That is horribly terrifying. What's going on? What's going on here? Where did you come from? <laughs> what what am I seeing? Hey, what's going on? On? Come in. Kyoko, I'm guessing. Neon. Who shoved me? Look out! That was that was a close one. If we didn't hear your voice just now, that truck would have. Are you alright? What happened? Fill me in. What was all that? And now everything's back to normal? What's happening here? Ghosts. You know, this would have been this would have made for a sweet ghost stories episode. We owe Detective Matayoshi a lot for helping out again. Not only did he restore calm, but he also took the truck driver in for questioning. Apparently the driver didn't see any of you until right before you all were nearly hit. But here's where things get strange. The crowd in the intersection saw you all the whole time, but nobody responded to their warnings. It's like you guys couldn't see or hear anything that was going on around you. Actually, yeah, that's how it was. We didn't know there were still other people around until your assistant spoke up. And would that this girl happened to be that high school girl you saw there? It is! That's her! Yep, yeah, definitely! She's the one for sure! I see. Well, that settles it. What do you mean? Who is she? She was a high school girl who was killed three months ago in an accident at the Scrambled Cross intersection. She died in an accident? For real? Yep. She was even hit by a truck. But that doesn't make any sense. We saw her with our own eyes right in front of us. She came back to life. Huh? Don't you remember? That's how the legend of Shibuya Hirsaka goes. Hmm. <laughs> So what do you five saw back there was the dead brought back to life then? I don't even... I did a little research. Shibuya today is a valley that was once cut off from Shibuya River, which itself now runs under the Scramble intersection. Rivers are a common border in myths and religions between the, this world and the next. 
There's the Sanzu River in Japan, the river Styx in Greece. I see you guys got cut up in one such place today. There are a lot of names you can call it, but the end result remains the same. Anyways, this case is closed. We set out to prove Shibuya Hirasaka is real, and we did. Really? You're just going to... Leave the girl alone? Is that what you want to ask? Hmm, you may be confused about our role. Don't forget, we're not ghost hunters, and we're not exorcists. That's not what we do. We're cyber sleuths, no more, no less. I would appreciate if you remember that from now on. Stay safe on your way home. Don't get into any accidents for real now. And this is a Digimon game. Like, is there going to be a part two to this? Uh, whew, well, that case is over and done with for now. Although I know you didn't get a chance to really use your powers. But I figure if you had used them in front of those kids, that would have just spawned another urban legend. <laughs> If I kill everyone, that'll make me lucky. And if everyone dies, that'll make me happy. So yeah, I'm gonna... When did this become a horror game? So yeah, there has to be a part two at some point. Great to see you pull through with that case. Keep up the good work going forward. There has to be a part two. There has to be. Property, property. Kowloon level one. Zaxxon Forum. We'll go ahead and yoink that. But yeah, it's just... Jesus. Hey, a white wizard mom. So Siri mom. Where could my precious thing have gone? I can't find it anywhere. Surely I didn't lose it while I was running around Saxon Forum earlier. It's so f it's so far away, though. You're standing here! <laughs> I You're standing right here! <laughs> I'd hate to walk all the way back there to look for it. Sure would be nice if so. <laughs> <sighs> What? What? Huh? You went out and found my precious thing? Really? You heard all of that? You put in a request! Wow, thanks so much. I'll make sure to send a thank you gift for going a little bit. You sent in a request. I think I'm being fucked with. If I work hard here, will it help you out? I'll do my best to teach me lots. All right, let's make you nice and strong together. Nice to see a new conversational thingy. Ah, uh, yes. Send in a request to the Cyber Sleuth Agency. Immediately pretend like you didn't. And got so Sirimon Metal. We'll go ahead and grab that. Do it, and then I guess search for anything that might spark another thing. We could also maybe do the next... Like a championship? Hello, Armadillo Man. Hmm, it's not here. Where could I have left it? Oh, Detective, great! I need your help so much. See, I lost my precious thing, and I don't think it's anywhere around here. The only place I think it could be would be around Kolu Level 1. If you could find it for me, it'd be really make my day. I'm counting on you, Detective, so good luck. My precious thing, they all say. My precious thing. Is it your porn collection? Is it your digital penis? Just... I guess they couldn't really think of anything that a Digimon would actually want as an item that they would hold precious. That would, like, make super sense for a Digimon, but come on. Constant brackets, my precious thing, feels weird. Kill. Kill. We should probably check to the right, just to be safe. Yep. Knew it. Mina, 
Kill. Kill. Hmm, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, uh, I, I was going to say. I wonder. I was trying to remember what comes after Growlmon in the like, quote unquote, canon evolution line. Gomamon in the farm is at max level. I hope that wouldn't like change his personality if we level uh, digivolved him. Kill them. For the paltry experience and whatever else we get. All right, Arma Dillamon, we got your shit. So funny that that guy's standing there. The people, they just stand. You found it! You're the best and then some, Detective. I sent your award over to your office. I think? Maybe. Probably. I hope so. Alright, we'll head over. We'll confirm it. Then jump to the Digilab outside the Detective Agency. Then we can like digivolve Gomamon and maybe even like throw like the various digi meat thingy at everyone. Let's see. Oh boy. You can digivolve into various different ones. You know what that means. It's safe scum in time, purely so that we can get a view on like the various things that Gomamon can digivolve into. First things first. Let's look at this. Gomamon, Digivolve 2! Ah, the rock guy. Oh no, that's not rock guy, he's steel! Oh, not steel, ice. Still, <laughs> same model, different texture design. It's even much more reflective. Interesting. And of course, we jump back. Because I get it, it makes sense that they be out, like, outline silhouettes so you don't know what they are because you haven't run into them but still I want to know and I I see the cannon road oh Ankleomon hilarious that actually that makes no sense why would a water Digimon like Gomamon then become an Earth Digimon. Eh, the Digimon isn't a science. And of course, that one is the uh, Ikakumon? Well, let's see. And we're also not going to get uh, Frigimon. I don't know. He seems basic. Ooh! Strike Dramon! You look interesting. And it even kind of fits like Gomamon's look before with like the red mane, like mane. I mean, he kind of looks like a horse. If he has claw, try claws. Increase the probability of combos occurring and continuing by 10%, you interest me. He's also fire and water and his attribute is earth, you interest me. Strike Dramon. Ooh, Strike Dramon, you interesting. Now, I just need to remember which one it is. I think it's the one below Ikakumon that is Strike Dramon. And I get... Oh, is this Sorcerimon? Sorcer... Sor... Sorcerimon? Yeah. All water. And all magic attacks. I think I might go for Strike Dramon. Prevents confusion. Prevents confusion, huh? That seems nice. 
I think I might just keep this one. And your personality is still Searcher. Very interesting, but your memory use is, uh, eight. But that is very interesting. Very interesting. Let's take a look at everyone else. We're Mon. Ryudamon. Ah, he's about to level up. Or, level up. He's about to be available for Digivolving. Yeah, that's sort of... <laughs> prevents confusion. Builder, fighter, searcher. We do have other searchers available, though. Hmm, but we'll keep Sorcery Mon as the head. Go ahead and feed everyone. The noises are disturbing. That major cam up. I should keep that. Hmm. Intelligence. Probably good for you. I can't wait to, like, build more farms and expand those. Oh, but I kind of want Sorcery Mon to be, like, available. Hmm. He's like, I'm interested. I am interested. Oh, we can uh, create Votamon. Goblin Mon, <laughs> return your po Digimon to scan data. Let's. You can return materialized Digimon to scan data. Select a Digimon that you want to return to scan data. The Digimon will be terminated, and the scan rate of the same Digimon will be increased by 100%. You can use this function when your party Digimon and Digimon in your Digibank or Digifarm are full. Or you can just not make more Digimon. <laughs> so that that doesn't happen. Ah, uh, yes, I'll just murder my Digimon. And, like, not even consume them. Looking for any, like, more topazes I can sell. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check the... Bibbidi bop I'll buy four. And then I'll head back to the Digi Lab just to be like, hey, shop thingy. Because I keep forgetting to check the shop because it's like over here. <laughs> Increases experience for plant attributes. So yeah, these are just like uh, developer know how. I already have one. Sleuth's Secret. Buying now. And while this hurts because I can't, like, upgrade, the SP generator will be traded out for the Sleuth Secret because that will help with searches in the future. And that is my search island. And since we'd like to do a bunch of searching, and now we'll wander around, see if there's, like, any more, like, various things. Have we talked to you? <laughs> She's never around. We will head up to the next place. Can't actually go. 
is... I was going to say, is that... Uh, what's his name? Like, seriously, a bunch of these... Cyber Jam. They look like real advertisements. Like, for actual things. Earth. Dragon. Hunt. Card shop over there started selling entertainer's cards, too. I heard some rare Jimmikin card went for a killing. No way, for real? I really wanted that one. I wanted the super expensive card that nobody but me should have, and I frick... I hate when ca cameras with fixed, cam uh, fixed camera video games do that. Stones. Stones. Nothing much interesting. Wait. Green Phantom. I wasn't that actually a superhero by early DC. I don't have many, but I'll sell what I have to you. 110, not bad. I'll head into the shop, just in case. Nope. There is just an open laptop there. I'm going to assume that's going to become a jump point in the future. And... Oh yeah, you can see the kid in there. <laughs> so if you want to interrupt his hide-and-seek. Not really a good hide-and-seek place, all things considered, my dude. Hmm. Let's go to the central hospital. For giggles. I don't know why, but the frame rate did a thing there and kind of, like, hurt my eyes a bit. Also, apparently, this place just has... Oh, we can't jump. Why can't we jump? Just gonna go to every place now. Invade hospital rooms. Kind of weird that that's the only one that we can invade. They're all listed as invadable, but that's the only one. Makes me wonder if we're gonna come... Are we gonna go to all of those hospital rooms for various... Uh, like, invasions, not invasions, but investigations. Uh, security, we saw a weird girl run in front of us and then back again. She might have been lost, or maybe she's a demon. Shoot on sight. And I guess let's go to Shibuya! I guess. Watch, it'll actually be Shinjuku the entire time. Huh, we actually can't go that way. We could in the fake world, but in the real world, the answer is no. Or we can actually find it. I probably... I should have looked at that. Subway. Shibuya Records. We're gonna try the uh, subway. Can we go into the subway? I have been lied to. I really need a new suit. But with my salary, I can't afford one for another three months. <sighs> Become a cyber sleuth, my dude. Wow, so this is the famous Shibuya Records. It's huge! Fill the world with music! Flare Guard. So if you, like, want to take less damage, Poison Barrier, Paralysis Barrier, halves Poison Success Rate, halves Paralysis Alright, neat. Don't know why you're selling such things. Item? Item. Kiwi Mod. Oh no, New Zealand. If you don't see the CD you'd like, I can backorder it for you, so don't hesitate to ask. I listened to this album on a whim and really liked it. Ever since, I've always enjoyed coming by this store. There's just something about flipping through a rack of CDs that's not like anything else. 
Yeah, I found Jimmykin's for a single. He's a bastard. Jimmykin was so cute. He's a bastard. There, um, there are so many Hanoi CDs here. It's really the best. And uh, also, today, Miss Raikutawa looks really cute. Nerd. Look at this spectacular lineup. Surrounded by all these CDs, I just... I feel... He's insane. Kill him now. What is the point of this place? Can I go to the back? Okay, this place just exists. Oh, hello, dude. I only buy CDs right here. The girls who work here are super hot. Well, at least he's honest. Eh, that person's in right now. He must have a nice voice. Ah, but Jimmykin is totally rad. You have a name. Why do you have a name name? You have a name? You want to know if I'm Jimmykin? No way, Dumbo. Haha. -ha. Why did he have a name? All right, let's go to Shinjuku then. Look around for weirdness. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. What to do? What to do? Walking around at the speed of sound. There doesn't seem to be anything, so we shall run back. Yes, repeated bird noise. Cool, cool. Constant and always in my ear, devouring everything except my fear. Uh, Toyo Sukandos? Don't know why I can come back here. I am very confused. Uh, huh. Boss. I don't like the Eden much. I've heard that the view from the entrance is very impressive. Go see it and tell me what you think. Is that also a hint? Go to the entrance. Okie dokie. I already went everywhere in the real world. I guess the only place left to go is Eden. All right, let's go to the entrance. Yeah, there's somebody back there. When in doubt, talk to Mire or Kyoku, I guess. And there's also this. Let's deal with you first. But mom, I swear there's something there. I just felt it. Sweetie, look behind you and check for yourself. See, nothing there. Now don't worry about it. I see it. There's an anonymous post on my digiline. Stop looking at me! No reply. Yo, we got another case from the Occult Club. This one looks personal, though. I think those guys might have taken a, a liking to us, given that we deal with the strange and unusual in our line of work. And in doing so, they're inviting yet more strange and unusual things into our lives. Starting with themselves, really. <laughs> Stop looking at me! Would be cool if it's actually on my Digiline. Let's see. Come on, you could have used the other to actually put it. I don't even know why we had to come here to do that. But yeah, when in doubt, talk to Kyoko Mire. Cult Research Club's Manaka, Eden. My Digiline is weird. It keeps transmitting weird without me doing anything. Please find the cause. Memory up! Memory up! Memory, memory, memory up! Hell yeah! Hey, nice to see you again, Manaka. What brings you here by yourself? Uh, well, I think I might be caught up in a cybercrime. Cybercrime? Did you go to the police? I can't really. There are some supernatural elements involved, I think. I understand. You made the right choice coming to us. All right, give us the details. Okay, take a look at this. It's my log on Digiline. All right, let's see what you've got. Ah, should I go to my club tomorrow? They claim to do research, but all they do really is hang out and talk. It's only a club because everyone has similar interests. I should probably enroll in something a little more serious and go do that too. And I could really use a hot manly boyfriend too. Oh my gosh, did I just ride that? 
Huh? What's so special about this? Keep going, you'll understand why. Could Kinji have a crush on Mai? Lol, no way. She has one track mind. She can't think of anything else but a cold stuff. Does that guy even have eyes? <laughs> He's such an ass. He's a real hottie right in front of him, and I can't take his eyes off Mei for even a second to notice it. Maybe I should seduce him. Hey, I might have got goods. I'd give him a peek any time. How do I put this? Your posts aren't pulling any punches here. Putting my personal opinion aside, I otherwise don't see anything wrong with them. They look normal to me. The thing is, I didn't write that stuff. What? They just randomly showed up, but they freaked me out so badly that I deleted them. I, ah, uh, I hear you. Then doesn't mean your account was probably just hacked. Some two-bit hacker probably did it to screw with you, or maybe your computer was infected with... No, it isn't anything like that. Hmm, then I take it that this is where the supernatural part you mentioned factors into these posts? Yeah, I wasn't the one who wrote those posts and put them online, but they are how I feel. What I, you see there, written there, that's stuff that I think about, but don't express out loud. Okay, I get you. It's stuff that's hard to share with any of the other club members, basically. Right. Hmm, seeing as you're in a cult club, I'm sure you know about Ouija boards and whatnot, right? Your hands move against your will, sending new messages from the spirit world, something like that. It could very well be possibly happening to you. Looking at these posts on your log, those messages went out in the dead of night. You should have long sound uh, You should have long been sound asleep by that point. Okay, then what? In the late 1800s, there was an ac academic by the name of Inrio... In Naui, who visited the, these sorts of things, can come having multiple selves. Enrio Inyoi? You mean the man who came up with the mystery studies, right? I've shown off his work at the club, but... Hold on, are you saying I have a split personality? The politically correct term would be a dissociative identity disorder, actually. I guess I guess it makes sense if I'm writing these posts in the, at night without realizing it. That would explain it, but... but uh, maybe it really is that. I've honestly been worried that it might be deep down. But no, that's not it. Huh? This isn't because of some mental issue. Here, take a look at this. Just try and find me. This was just now posted onto your account. It's a reply to what I wrote on your Digiline. To the culprit, I'm a detective who's taken up Monaka's case. Know that we will track you down and uncover your identity. No matter who you are, where you are, you can't hide forever. You've been warned. Well, this conversation conversion unfolded online as you and I were talking while you weren't touching any terminals. That means you're not the one behind these posts, let alone any mental disorder of yours. The real culprit is out there somewhere. Whoever's behind it is just a dumb troll, albeit an arrogant one at that. To quote Enrio and Yui's work again, what we've got is a case of a fake wonder, or someone trying to make this look more mystical than it really is. In other words, this is plain old hack. You said one, that the contents of these posts are based on actual facts about yourself, yes? Well, I don't know about facts so much as just how I think and feel, really. Were you logged into Eden before you fell asleep? Yes, I do that every night. Gotcha. Then the way I see it, I bet the culprit's been snooping around and hacked into your memory data in Eden. You can do that sort of thing in Eden? Well, not literally. At least not when you're lone wolfing it like your hacker here. Still, avatars in Eden are essentially digitized versions of people's mental data, so to speak. And so memory data hacks theoretically do move. Things take a bit of a different turn once the so-called supernatural enters the equation. Huh? Don't sweat it. For now, just log into Eden tonight like you normally would. I'll have my assistant waiting uh, for you in the lobby. All right, but do you actually plan on do- what do you plan on doing? Well, let's just say we're going fox hunting, and our decoy will be... Our little maiden's deep dark secrets. Hee <laughs> hee! Interesting. Looks like Manaka's still not here yet. Here's hoping this isn't a sign of what's to come. Oh, I had Manaka lay down our decoy. If the culprit's the type of person I suspect, there they'll definitely go for it. That means it's a pretty safe guess to say that they're going to log into Eden tonight. Once they're in position, it's just a matter of apprehending them. But that shouldn't be a problem either. That's because Pete's going to be working with us. Oh, your name is Pete? How's it going? Long time no see. Thanks again for what you did back there at the AC stuff. I had Pete here take a look at those posts in the hacker wrote so he could learn their scent. Yep, turns out those messages had traces of a Digimon on them. Can't fool me. I'll let you know when the bad guy's close by. You can count on me and my nose. But of course, that's why I brought you on board. This is so cool working with a real life detective. I feel like a real boy wonder here. Hey, you don't know who the boy wonder is, really? Hey, I'm here. Sorry to keep you waiting. 
I did just like you asked and post the message on my Digiline, but am I really going to be okay doing that? <laughs> You're curious what she wrote, aren't you? It's fine, I'll tell you. She confessed her love to the hacker and also mentioned that she really wanted to meet him. Really? It's a real blatant ploy on our part, but again, this guy thinks his hacking skills are hot stuff. He's going to want to verify Monaka's claims, preferably by checking her memories directly. Hacking memory data takes some work, though, even to just take a look inside it. It'll require actually directly reaching out and making contact with her avatar. That's the only way he could have done this. He had to have been touching her somehow in order to do the hacks. What's more, messing around with someone's mental data would, be t would take going into the core of Eden itself. The security there is supposed to be tight as can be. It'd take a real effort to break in. The hacker behind Minaka's messages should, would, would have, therefore, had to be touching her at l for at least several minutes before leaving his handiwork. I smell him! He's close by! Good, it's time to go hunting. Go investigate the surrounding area and get this person out of his foxhole. Interesting. Weird and interesting. A friend asked what I'd do if I became a human, but nothing comes to mind. You haven't been around humans all that long. Let's hang out and talk more. You know, even though we never talk to anybody. Is it going to be in the same? Yep, it's in the same place. What? I smell him. We're getting close. Like duds over there. Ah, we should probably. Nope, it's the same thing. We'll go ahead and save, just to be safe. Save. To be safe. There, right in front of you. Hurry up and do a scan. Yes, we've got you now, Buster. You're not going anywhere. Ah, for real? How'd you find me? I knew it. The culprit's a little kid. Don't call me a little kid. That's rude. Hey, wait a minute. You're the one who spotted me here before, aren't you? Crap, how'd you notice me? You're not supposed to be able to see me at all. Oh, so what's, that's what happened, huh? <laughs> My little assistant is so sensitive to digital waves and special networks, the culprit didn't stand a chance of hiding forever. We're cyber sleuth. It comes with the job, but enough of that. We've got questions for you. Does that make you a detective too? Whoa, you're so hot! Yeah, whatever. Just answer my questions already. Who are you and how did you achieve such a complicated... I'm what you call a genius architect. I'm not some lowly hacker or programmer. Do you know about Baku Reborn Service? It's a special service here on Eden. In cases like where a user either permanently leaves Eden or they die, the Baku Reborn Service gathers all that user's data and deletes it. And I'm the one who runs it. Really? You don't have to act so surprised. Kids are just more attuned to the digital world than adults. I was just studying on my own and joined groups that could trade info with... And soon enough, I started working in corporate R&D. Oh, but the reason I consider it a genius is just because I run that service. I'm also the one who designed it. Actually, what I said about Baku gathering and deleting bond, uh, abandoned user data isn't entirely accurate. It actually does more. Not only does it gather and accumulate data pertaining to a given account, it also organizes it almost like it has a mind of its own. To be honest, even I'm surprised by that. I never expected it to act so precisely and deliberately. It's a real case of the creation surpassing the creator. But that's how it should be with these sorts of things, no? I follow you. Baku Reborn Service. Tell me, does the name Baku refer to the mythological creature that consumes nightmares? Yep, you got it. I named it that because data we don't want to show online is very much its own sort of nightmare. And by using that Baku on yourself, you could... Alright, I'm onto what you did now. You handed your avatar's service level appearance over to your Baku and let it consume it. That way, nobody around you would be able to know that you're where you're lurking. But you didn't let it purge the data outright. You controlled it yourself, making it hand, hand it back, like a dog returning prey to a hunter. Wow, you figured it all out! Yep, you got me! That's amazing, though. I love it when I actually meet a smart adult. I'm guessing you basically used the same trick to drop Monaka's mental data, then. Yeah, I copied it, but I only did that with her short-term memory. The stuff you'd find around a person's hippocampus inside the real brain. Even something as advanced as Baku can break into a person's memory without, within active mental data. That would definitely be crossing the line, and I understand why that's bad. I'll hand over what I copied to your partner, given the apparent interest it sparked. It really is like a Baku, isn't it? I think I more or less have a grasp on the current situation now. I am that. I am that I am not. I think that might be the best way to describe what your partner is, uh, is to this world, if you catch my drift. <laughs> you know, I was thinking the same thing. Genius or not, even I can't purposely go out and architect life itself. That thing was probably born as such by pure chance. I have no idea how it'll end up growing moving forward. 
Certainly, at the very least, I have a feeling I'll lose control of it eventually. You really are smart. I don't just mean you know a lot, either. There's a sharpness to your words that I admire. Can I trust you to let me deal with the Baku? Do you plan on disposing of it? We'll see. It depends on how things go. Okay. I trust your judgment. You'll find it uploaded onto a site. The password lock for it is lifted. The rest, I'll leave to you. Well, so kid, he's the culprit? I'd have never guessed it would be someone so young. Well, I, I, well, well you see. Uh, why did I do what I did with her account? Who, who cares at this stage? I won't do it again, and I promise to even apologize for it later. I'll even give her some consolation money, so just leave me alone. You know, I just remembered. We've met here in Eden before, haven't we? We talked for a little bit while I was waiting to meet up with a friend, right? So why did you do all that mean stuff? You're so smart, you shouldn't be out committing crimes. Eh, um, yeah? You're right. I'm sorry. That's what I was hoping to hear. See, you're a good kid at heart. This is all weird. What are you staring at? I did it all right. I apologize. Let's call it good at that, shall we? <laughs> you still have work to do. I'm sending you to the URL of the Baku Reborn service now. We're going to resume our hunt now. Only our goal here is to capture rather than kill our target. Manaka, I want you to go back. It's too dangerous for you to stick around. My assistant will take care of everything here. All right, I'm counting on you. I... We don't know how our prey is going to react once we get there, so you better be prepared for anything before we go. Weird. Just weird. That's the only thing I have to say about that. Weird. What the hell? <laughs> Just completely and utterly odd. Oh. Just jumping right into it, I see. I'm just drinking water. Oh! We're gonna die. Oh, never mind. That might do damage. Not that much damage, because they went for the same one twice. Kill! Kill the other one. Explosions! Uh, oh, it's weak. Kill it. Okay, not nearly as terrifying as it could be. And that's always nice. Really, I could do that. I didn't expect I could do that. Neat. I got an emerald. Would be funny if it's like, no, this isn't a level three. More imp mons. Let's see. Fixed damage of 150. So instead... Nightmare! 150 probably would have killed it. Woken Palm! Annihilation! Lol. That's oddly disconcerting. Am I going to run into sleep demons? But hey, at least this will be like a dungeon I can activate from the Digilab, I assume. A clockwork monstrosity lies ahead. Well, let's fight. Yeah, I think my current team's good. You're interesting. There it is, our one and only Baku. From the look of it, the kid's program is merged with a wild Digimon. He's my It's no use trying to reason here. The program's erased whatever traces were left of that Digimon's own sentience. Digimon are easily susceptible to influence from man-made programs. It's one of the reasons why some don't consider them to be autonomous beings with their own sense of will. 
there's no getting around this one. You're just gonna have to knock some sense into it. Yes, mom, it's a mom. Wait, are you? What level are you? Kill! Ah, huh, you're not that scary. <laughs> Annihilate him! Wulken Napalm! Or is it Wulk Napalm? Not Wulk In. Because there's only one in. Oh, Salomon reached max! Probably hit max a long time ago. I'm dumb. Okay, now that's over. Download the data and collect what's left of Baku. Once you're done, get out of there and come back to my office. It's hard to believe such a little kid would be a heinous crime? A uh, dude, such a heinous crime like that. I'm still shocked. Heinous, huh? I guess I see where you're coming from. Even if he didn't mean any harm by it, what he did certainly broke the law. Well, that's all in the past. Now that we've exercised your account of that little stalker that haunted it, the case is closed now. We'll be holding on to the Baku program in the meantime. If we can tune it up a bit, it could very well come in handy. But I still don't get it. Why did he go after me in the first place? He has a crush because he's a little kid. Do neither of you really get why the boy picked on her? In a way, there really was no reason at all. Except to say that it was love at first sight. He really liked you, Manaka. Huh? It's probably why... At first, he probably just wanted to get to know you more with all, all his heart, but he's, as we saw, he was less mature than we'd like to admit. He'd like to admit. He wanted to tease and mess with you so you'd pay attention to him. At his age, it's a pretty standard mentality towards someone you like, really. Phew, that was so fun! Let me help out again if something else comes up, okay? I think it'd be pretty cool to be a Detective Cat Digimon like that. You definitely helped us back there, so you have my thanks, Pete. Anyway, are you still not able to actually leave the confines of Nakano Broadway's intranet? Yeah, I think it has to do with how old the network protocols for the intranet are. It makes it hard to transfer data around. It could be that I'm just stuck to the vacuum tube computer like how Baku was to that Pokemon. Oh, damn it, brain. Brain's just like, okay, autopilot ever so slightly fill in the beep. Brain. Hmm, there's still so much to learn about what Pete truly it is, it seems. Huh? Why do we call Pete Pete? Well, he's a cat. He was extracted from his own little time capsule where he was frozen asleep all that time. Besides, open enough doors and you're bound to. Do you really need a reason for it? Unlike the digital world, the real world is filled to the brim with things that have no real reason for being what they are. But it's a simple pleasure in life that we're entitled to have as humans. Don't sweat it too much. Just kick back and enjoy it. I'm confused. Once more, it feels like there is a reference that I'm missing. And we got a memory up. Huzzah. Pete's an important member of the team, so make sure you two get along, all right? Come to think of it, we're out of beans. Pick up some more, would you? I used them all up crafting a new recipe yesterday. Nightmare, nightmare. Red alert. But before we do that, we're gonna go and digivolve Salomon. Because Salomon appears to be at max level. Let's see. Salomon, level 27. Can digivolve into... Hmm, but not enough attack. Obviously, there's Gatomon, one that we can't do because not enough attack. In fact, how much uh, attack do you have? You are way below that. Understandable. Once again, we are going to save and take a look at all the available Digimon that we can evolve our Salomon into. Since we have a black Gatomon, we really don't need another one. But hey, at the same time, maybe I will. Let's take a look at this one. It looks interesting. Salomon, did you evolve to Vidramon? Yeah, I prefer like uh, X Vmon and Flame Dramon. Vidramon just looks weird. <laughs> Vidramon looks like X Vmon on crack. Salomon can also digivolve to Repamon. Yeah, just like another Digimon that we digivolved, but I forget. Well, I guess we'll go with Gatomon. 
did I just say I want to take another? Ganamon is just like nice. Did he evolve to Gatomon? Holy Ring, increase HP recovery effects by 20%. And also has Lightning Paw. Let's take a look again. Vaccine Light. Whereas Black Gatomon is Virus Dark. We really are covering all our bases there. And let me guess, that uh, one place will be... What? That's not a... But surely we can go back to it. Maybe because... Oh, because we got the URL. And since we got the URL, we can go and do it again. Up, up to the bean shop we go. Beans! Buying more beans already! Buying beans, I see! I suppose if more employees, the supply is used up that much faster. Come to think of it, when you head back, why don't you buy some tokiaki from third floor to go for your coffee? Only a child does know more than what they're asked. Go above and beyond and see, and you'll seem quite clever. I got the coffee beans Kyoko asked for. What new horror will she create from these incredible beans that smell so good? Go grab some tokiaki. You're going the wrong way. Oh no, maybe you are. Oh hey, you again. You go. <laughs> Just eating tokiyaki. You shouldn't be surprised. I work here in this building. Lol. There's a poster on the wall Yuko is staring at. Nationwide B-level gourmet battle. Our restaurant becomes a culinary battleground. Grated yam ramen, tuna scraps, gyoza. The famous massive frozen custard dim sum. Looks like this is what Yuko was looking at. Did it, oh, she wasn't eating tokiyaki. She did. <laughs> Hilarious. Obviously, I must beat her. Ah. We're late. Oh, well, thanks for doing the shopping. We were waiting for you to get back. As you can see, a client has arrived. She ran ahead of me. <laughs> that was just weird. Your mouth watered, didn't it? Hello. <laughs> Konnichiwa. What are you talking about? This is our client. Hilarious, either way. <laughs> hmm, now then, Mrs. Kamashiro. What matter of the case brings you to us? All right, I want you to investigate my father. <laughs> For real this time? The search continues. Yuko Kamashiro. You mean Mr. Satoru Kamashiro, the former president of Kamashiro Enterprises? He passed away last year. He was reported to have been a suicide, correct? No, that isn't true. My father would never kill himself. There, there obviously there has to be a body. No, there's nothing to apologize for. But why do you believe he wouldn't do it? Do you have some proof that it wasn't suicidal? I... No, I don't. That's exactly why I've come to you. I see. That makes sense. If you want clues, then you want to start with Makoto Yamashina, whom I had you investigate the other day. He was a researcher for Kamashiro until last year. He left the company around the same time my father died, and then he disappeared. So you believe Yamashina is connected to your father's death in some way? Even if there's no direct connection, I'm certain he must know something about my father's death. Hmm, so you had us investigate Makoto Yamashina as a prelude to this case, then. That was your way of testing us. Since you brought another case to us, that implies we've, that we passed your test. I apologize. There are so few people around me who I can trust. I'm, I'm so very sorry for a little ruse. <laughs> I hope such an honest answer is proof that we have earned your trust. We shall investigate your father's death. Death disappearance, either way. The circumstances of your father's current state of being and past and future. Please excuse me for a moment. <laughs> moshi moshi. It's no problem. Yes, yes, what? No, no, I'm alone. I understand. I'll be right back. Please wait at the head office, Miss Ray, the psychopath. I'm sorry, something came up all of a sudden. So it appears. Please leave the investigation to us. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now. This could turn out to be a really big case. 
We've got to go all out and solve it. If all goes well, we could expose Kamashiro's past along with the company's inner workings. I should ask Detective Matayoshi for his help. Oh boy. All right, let's get started on the case. I'll go over the info on Makoto Yamashina again. While I'm doing that, I want you to go out and to his home and pay him another visit. I don't know if we'll get anything new, but, well... NVNG. What? 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 No, sorry, never mind. It's nothing important. NVNG. It's something my father used to say a lot. It's an abbreviation for nothing ventured, nothing gang. My father said something different, though. Something ventured, something gang. I always thought it should be abbreviated as SVSG, the but. A rather elegant and refined expression, don't you think? Interesting, at least. <laughs> well, no need to think too deeply on it. That would be an elegant. Okay, enough of the chit chat. Get on with the case for me. And there's just two more Woodmon's property and Togemon's property. And we got a message. Hey, tell me about your friends. They're cool. There's Yodin Sakura at school and Nokia Narada I met online. Thank you very much for your work on the case. Leave it to me! And I also want to organize... Oh, let's see, your health is 250. You are still very fragile. But luckily you should level up rather fast. 51, 45, I wonder what dictates that. Anything new in shop? Ah, uh, just the usual. But off I go to bother... At least that explains why the guy and his daughter were, like, kind of freaked out over Eden being mentioned. You're a stubborn one. How many times do I have to tell you I don't know any Kamashiro? Eh, uh, we can prove that. You're asking if I've never heard of them. The first I heard of them was from you. No, it was before that. On the news, I think? Wait, no. Maybe I heard it from my daughter? Really, actually, it was your daughter going nuts about it. And we haven't seen your wife. Are you being, like, drugged? to forget Kamashiro and you were like involved in something? I don't know. As my daughter, ask Chika. I, I need to lie down. I suddenly feel dizzy. Chika, she said she was going to Shibuya, I believe. A new single from a band was going to be available for a limited time at Shibuya Records. Shimikin? No, that wasn't it. You really must excuse me. All right. Yeah, because it was his daughter freaking out more than anything. Really, the mentioning of Eden only confused him. Trying to dig deeper into that was what set off the daughter, though. Hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, so you actually noticed me here. Good job, I'm Fukuyuchira. My dream is to become CEO. I feel like you have to do what it takes to make it big, too. I'll give you this to show my respect. Ninja USB. Think you can find me again? I'll be waiting for you. To victory! What a weird, weird little man. But all right. Victory USB. Oh, no, not, not victory. Always successful escaping from battle. Hmm. Granted, I haven't failed to escape from battle just yet. But hey, nice. Hello there. You say you have questions again. You just want to be left alone. Yeah, something weird's going on. Well, what is it now? I know your father worked for Kamashiro. What about my dad? There's not really much to say. Um, until recently, my dad was a workaholic. He didn't even come home to on his days off. But he seems to change more recently. His focus shifted to taking care of his family. Huh. I'm not sure why exactly. Maybe something changed with his work? Before, I know he worked for a place called the Nile Corporation. Alright. Shouldn't you be on your way? I don't have much free time either. Can I go? Alright, fine. I got a lead. 
How did it go? Get any useful clues? Nile Corporation. The Nile Corporation? I hadn't thought there'd be a connection there. The Nile Corporation, our paths have crossed before. Detective Matayoshi looked into the company once before. My father was involved in that investigation, too. They were following up on a hunch, apparently. Okay, you can look into that Nile Corporation for me. You might be able to get some info at the corporate pavilion near the Eden entrance. I'll look into the case files that my father and Detective Matayoshi put together back then. Alright, I'm counting on you. Got keyword. Nile Corporation. Very interesting. So the daughter might not be as weird. You don't like Jimmy Kim's song? Just, just don't think about him at all, that's all. <laughs> don't. After meeting Jimmikin, everything's gone bad. Is it daytime over there? It's night here. I went all over collecting data. Uh, good job today. It still would be weird. I could have just gone all the way to the left. Because this is a map. It would have been funny if I had to, like, get the last single of this special song that she wanted and hold it hostage to get answers. But yeah, it's weird. She freaked out more about, like, the Eden Corporation and everything than he did. Woodbond's property in Kowloon Level 2. Kowloon Level 2. Let's see. 500, 100, and then one bibbidi. Well, we'll do this one. We'll go to Kolu level two, grab it, do it, and then head to the normal pavilion diddy. Yep, you're the monstrosity that I could have turned some of my Digimon into. Nice to meet you, detective. I'm the one who filed this case with your office. I'll get straight to the point. I lost my precious thing the other day, and that's not good. Not at all. I think it probably fell around in Baby Bop. Still utterly hilarious. And it's deeper in. Would be funny to have another Gatomon. If I... Hmm. Not sure if I wanted to replace anyone. We'll wait until Gunnamon's leveled up some. We should be able to just annihilate them. Without too much worry. Of course. Combo chain attack. Kill it. Kill it hard. Already that leveled up Gatamon twice. Hilarious. So I guess leveling up isn't terrible even after you digivolve. It's just once you get to, like, a certain level of, uh, you have to actually start going after the big sources of experience. As once again, I'm going to be paranoid and go to the right. Hmm, we'll just kick the plant in the face. How dare you not die. In response, we'll can napalm on you. Then you can chomp at the salad. Kill. Kill, kill. Another double level up. Again, because now every single time I come here, I'm going to have to check this side. Just to be sure. And we can make another one of you. Fine, I'll annihilate you. A grand rock. Alright, that was a grand rock. Good for you. Woken Napalm. How dare you miss? Destruction Cannon, because I hate you. <laughs> I feel like you could take a picture of Biomon right before being just absolutely obliterated. I am annoyed that it is not here. Now I have to walk around all the way. Maybe it'll be in the same place that the last one for Gaomon was. Doubt it, but it's possible. 
I swear, the guitar sounds like somebody screaming more than anything. Nope, not there. Because the world has to be mean. Has to be mean. Has to be memes. Oh hey, we're gonna finally get you to 200% and make you, I guess. Die. 600! That amuses me. The other Digimon, the, like, the, the s seemingly simpler Digimon, don't really take that much damage. Goblimon, annihilated. Nuked from orbit. Ah, oh, of course you get a back attack, you little bitches. How dare you hit Kawagamon. How dare you try and hit Kawagamon. Kawagamon's gonna eat your soul now. It's gonna be eaten for dinner. Kill, kill. And it seems that you would have survived that, potentially. It's nice to have someone who'll say that. Thanks. Get to bed yourself early. Hmm. I'm gonna quickly check my Digimon status. 33, 55, 27. Whereas you're at 100, you're at 100, you're at 100. I wish we could, like, press B. Or, like, uh, the square button and, like, swap Digimon from this screen. Imagine if, like... Okay, I just had an idea for, like, uh, a potentially different Digimon season. Because you know how most Digimon seasons are typically about, like, a group of Digidestined, and each Digidestined has one Digimon, or in that one weird season, the Digidestined were the Digimon, and even they still had, like, uh, Digimon allies. It would be interesting if there was a season where it was literally just one Digidestined and like in the in like in this game, they just have a collection of Digimon. Not nearly to the degree as this game, but like at the very least like this, where they have like eleven Digimon with them. I just think that would be interesting. If anything, it would probably make for a simpler show compared to some Digimon seasons. Kill the plant. Kill the bird. In an explosion, the bird did. Ming-mong. Wrong way. I don't even know what I'd do with some of you. If I, like, made you real. I guess I could hold off on digitizing some Digimon until I have another island. And then maybe, like, <laughs> just do some grinding, just to conjure up a bunch of Digimon, have them train up in the second island and then feed them to one of my other Digimon as sacrifices as the super duper level up process. I wonder what would happen if I like threw the NX Digimon from the like DLC special thingamajig and if I threw them like into a diddly D until they were like level 99 and then fed them to another Digimon like how that would work. Get slapped, Wanyaman. You're not even the real Pete. 
seriously, in this one run, got him on has evolved, not evolved, but leveled up to level 9. So yeah, I think, like, leveling up is pretty decent. Hmm. That makes me curious. I want to reread a tutorial thing on digivolving and de-digivolving. Let's see. Digivolving and, yeah. Digivolving makes Digimon even stronger versions of themselves. Digivolving returns a Digimon to level 1, but raises their max level and abilities. There is more than one Digivolution route, and Digimon can Digivolve into various forms written into Digivolution guides depending on the conditions met. There is also Digimon that can uh, you can get by fusing two Digimon together through DNA di evolution. De-Digivolving will make them weaker, but will increase their max level and abilities. Abilities affect not only the conditions for Digivolving, but the maximum values of parameters you can enhance in Digifarms. Hmm, abilities. Digimon abilities. Abilities, abilities. What more about Digimon abilities? And also apparently there's one that we haven't gotten up there. Huh. Yeah, that's just about attributes, not abilities. Hmm. Guess I could always look at my Digimon. That's stats. These are skills, not abilities. Hmm. I be confused. <laughs> I wonder if they mean skills when they mean talk about abilities. I wonder what people would think if I just showed up into a normal place with a bunch of Digimon. Oh no, we're being invaded by a Digimaster. It'd be awfully nice if my kids could also work at a big company like Kamishiro. Hey, what about the Nile Corporation? Nile Corporation? That's the company that crea uh, the company created to research the Eden Avatar system, isn't it? I think they were bought out by some big company a long time ago, though. They aren't around anymore. Better head back to the office. Huh. So it is tied to Kamashiro. But I suppose you don't... Like, it's entirely possible you might work at a company and not entirely know about the company's secrets and stuff. Who owns who. How did I get here? I'm supposed to come in, like, uh, teleport. Well, hello, young assistant. Are you getting used to working as a detective? Kind of. What's all that look? You're looking at me like I'm not supposed to be here. Kyo-chan, can you tell, why I'm, tell you why you're here? I completely butchered that sentence. Look. Well, something strange has happened, and we can't find the Snell Corporation ca case files. So I thought I'd ask someone directly involved with the case itself. Of course you didn't find them. All the files are stored together at Kamishiro. At Kamishiro itself? Why? I'm ashamed to have to admit this, but we had to leave the files there. This, this was that hunch of yours, isn't it? Yes. At the time, suspicions were raised that Kamishiro had acquired the Nile Corporation illicitly. Your father and I were investigating that when we ran into a little problem. A problem? Pressure came down from up top, and we were forced to abandon the case. At the time, we were also forced to hand over all case files to Kamishiro, too. So Kamishiro pulled the strings. That was a self-incriminating move, wasn't it? That was the implied understanding. Since we knew how bad it was, we decided to keep silent track of where the case files were stored. I kept track even after your father passed away. Now the files are being stored deep within the Avalon server, which is the main Kamishiro server. I'm sure it's in part of the cyberspace Kamishiro employees call the Confidential Database. It, and when I say I've kept track, it's not like I've confirmed the data's location firsthand. At best, it's conjecture based on info from scans from the of the environs. Call it my intuition. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Well then, I say it's about time we ha had them return what they've been keeping from us. Listen to me, Kyo-chan. This is Kamishiro we're dealing with. How do you plan to get around the top-notch security of a world-renowned company? Let's learn from the case of the robbing ro rooster. 
We don't force our way through a closed gate. Instead, we employ strategy. Have them open it for us. Oh, hey now, is that even possible? A good detective makes the impossible possible. What? We already have a rooster of our own lined up. Someone who can crow in just the way we need. And we'll get her to help us when it comes to infiltrating Kamishiro. Aha, speak of the devil. Begging your pardon. Why am I always surprised to see her? Hey, once again, you've arrived right on time. This is my client, Yuko Kamishiro. Um, has there been any progress? Yuko Kamishiro? You don't mean the former presidents. I see. No one would question her if she were to walk into corporate HQ. What? I, who is this? Young lady, we need your assistance. Please. Huh? What? <laughs> she is very confused. I see. What do you say? We really need your help with the investigation. That's fine. I want to know if my suspicions are correct as well, after all. Ha <laughs> ha! But I am a miner, and as such, my authority within the company is rather restricted. I doubt I'll be able to do much more than get you into the lobby of the main office. Let me think about this. If I'm inviting friends from school to take a tour, it shouldn't be an issue getting you to the lobby, I think. It'd be hard passing me and Kyo-chan off as your friends. Worst case, they might recognize us, too. <laughs> so long as you could get my assistant in, that'd be terrific. Could you manage that? But then, how do we get the confidential database? Do you have some means of doing that? Even if your assistant were a world-class hacker, I doubt it's even possible. Hmm. A cyber sleuth can make the impossible possible. Well, there you have it, Yuko. Leave the domain of cyber sleuthing to us. Very well, I'll go get things set up. What are you actually going to do, Kyo-chan? To get in? I have an idea, actually. Oh, there was this one case where I got my hands on a little program. I'm thinking of having it customized for my system with the help of someone I know. Shall we get started with the preparations? <laughs> my dear assistant, start by heading to Mire Mikagra's place. I'll let you know. Let her know you're coming and why. You can get the details from her. <laughs> now I pop out. Sure. That's totally how physics work. Quiz time! What do you call it when a Digimon looks like an 8 bit sprite? Dot. I've entrusted a dreadful task to you. Return at once if things get dangerous. No need to worry. I'm a badass. Again, nobody notices when I do this. It is rather fast, but still. Hey, is it true you're taking break from school? Sounds like tons of fun. But all this detective work is keeping me pretty busy. My preparations are complete. Go ahead, take this program. You got hacking skills. Stealth hide. Ah, no, it's a hacking skills program repurposed from the Baku program Kyoko gave me. By using this, you'll be able to almost perfectly mask your account information. Effectively, you'll be invisible. Given your half-cyber body, you should be able to use this skill not only in cyberspace, but in the real world as well. This skill could potentially be used for a wide variety of crimes, but given your deepening bond with Digimon, I trust you won't use it for evil purposes. That was rhetorical, dear. I see all. <laughs> I see all! <laughs> okay. You are a cyber sleuth now. Someday you must expose my secrets. <laughs> I got in touch with Kyoko. Hmm, things went well, it seems. I'm sure you have many questions, but start by focusing on the relevant case. I heard from Yuko Kamashiro earlier, and you've been invited to Kamashiro Corporate HQ. Special visit URL. Access this URL to access the account and the privileges to tour the corporate office. The privileges are limited to the lobby, but that should be enough to let you get in without much more trouble. We've had our rooster crow, now it's to set the fox loose in the hen house. You've gotten some handy hacking skills, I know, but you'll need to think on your feet in there. Be the wolf in sheep's clothing. It'll take all your cunning, skill, and bravery to sneak in on, on in and waltz out with the grand prize. Also, for the record, Detective Matayoshi isn't involved with obtaining and using the hacking skills for this case. Keep that in mind. Now, then, let's get the job done. Anyway, I guess I better follow this corporate to URL. Shmiribababdibu. Shmiribababdibu. 
Even up some useful hacking skills. Play it by ear and proceed with caution. Well, onwards we go. Roots! I can now go to Kamashiro Enterprises. The lobby, at least. Kind of makes sense. Kamishiro's main place would be in Eden itself. You're so late. I got exhausted just waiting for you. You're acting so familiar. You're so late. I got ultra super worried. Oh, not that I was worried about you, you see. Don't get the wrong idea or anything. You are weird. Uh, Neon, I need to pretend that you're my friend here. Just follow my lead, all right? <laughs> Is there uh, anything the matter with? You can pretend to be my friend, right? A school friend, a normal friend, friend. To <laughs> That's odd. Where the files I dug up? <laughs> You're mistaken. <laughs> huh? You want me to act like I normally do? I'm not sure I quite get what you're saying. If that's true, then you and I are already friends after a fashion, though. No? Kinda, yeah. <gasps> okay, I see. That was just a joke that fell flat, right? Lol. Things get a little too real for me there. I forgot to let myself play along. What I mean is, you've done your homework. I seem to misjudge you. You are weird, Yuko. Anyway, welcome to Kamashiro. Okay, let's pretend to tour the lobby. I'll pretend to show you around. Why was there a black screen? But you're going to strike out on your own. Yep. But what's your actual plan for getting in? What? How does the person just vanish? Both the avatar and the account info! Oh my, Miss Yuko, where's your friend gotten off to? M my friend has, um, uh, we're playing, um, hide and seek. Oh, hide and seek? Yeah, that's right. Is there some problem? No, no problem per se. This is the perfect place for hide and seek. It's so spacious. I uh, suppose it's true. There certainly is a lot of space here. By the way, I'm it. Um, well then, good luck, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to find my friend. Just you watch. Hilarious. <laughs> well then, give it your best shot. Say hello to your friend for me. I feel sorry for that boy. He says hello. A program that seals an account. And this requires Digimon program hacking skills, which is completely illegal, I'll point out. <laughs> but you and Kyoko did say that cyber thing was your area of expertise, so that's reassuring. When you're finished, meet me here. I'll leave, we'll leave together. Please try not to take too long. There's a limit to the time we can spend pretending to play hide and seek. Well, see you later then. Kyoko told me to think on my feet, but I don't see any place to connect jump into. Let me look around. Hacking skill! Stealth hide. Go invisible so you cannot be detected by others. Your counterpo will be hidden so you can investigate without trace. I shall save just in case. It would be funny to just like vanish right in front of somebody. Again, I suppose. Stealth high. That avatar. What servers can it access? Avatar, can I jump? Oh, interesting. It's the old president's daughter. Why well, keep loitering around the company? I don't think I can get into a network here. Maybe I'd better try someone more important. Ah, ah, I could have sworn I saw someone here. I must be imagining things. That was close. Doesn't look there are any networks to infiltrate. Ah, uh, standing around the lobby is so boring. It's easy, so I shouldn't complain, but... Huh. So I'm going to network jump into a guy. Okay, let's get freaky with it. Oh, hey, we haven't done this in a while. Oh, dear God, what kind of Digimon are we going to run into in here? Oh, no, it's even more branching. And these are simple bitches to kill. Die. Time for murder. So, there's two ways to go. This one's a dead end, but it has an item. Huzzah! See, now things are getting interesting. But wait, 
there's another way to go that way too. It's probably another dead end with an item! Or it could be a dead end that's just a dead end there to mock me. More deaths. A triple? For these suckers? Lol. That was hilarious. Imagine three high-level Digimon just beating up this lower level one. Oh hey, a holy level holy light too. And another item. Woot. Crit boost two. Consumable. Says it's a boost, not E. Alright, definitely interesting. Another dead end, but I'll go there anyway. For the giggles. Murder. How dare you live? Attack the other one, in case he lives. Nope. Then I have no reason to do my Gale attack on you. Yes, yes, yes. You're at 100% now. Good for you. What? No item! How dare! Are you mocking me? Eh, why not? Would be interesting if it worked to reduce encounters as well. And I can't seem to undo it. Wait, the this dead end is more dead endy than the other dead end. And now the Digimon see me all the same. Kill! You can go the other one. Because we have no reason to use our skills against fools like these. We can just go super fast. We can grab this item. The purple layer that we actually flo I only noticed that we actually fly through a purple layer. I uh, first was like, is this going to be a trap? Ooh, Gabumons! We haven't actually ran into Gabumons. Kill the Gabumon! And Gabumon B. Light him on fire! Lol. Yeah, they're actually making these places expansive enough to be interesting. Go ahead and murder. Is that the second time that a Niaramon has just been absent? No, that was a uh, Bukamon. That just got walloped. Ah, revival capsules. Handy dandy. And now we can create a Bukamon if we so chose. There's just so many Digimon that we can eventually create. It's kind of funny that there's only like a handful of starting Digimon and then they just branch out like crazy. How rude, not to have an item there. All dead ends should have items. As my presidential decree. Ah, uh, great. This place seems freaky. The confidential database should be here somewhere. Let's keep moving. Are we actually gonna run into Digimon in here? Oh, that's, uh, that's fucking scary. It's big. It 
It's big and now dead. Praise the dead. I shall only walk in a palm one. And we might as well see. Yeah, just kill him. If it lived, I would have been very upset. Power energy two. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on the way to actually go to get all the items. Panic recovery. Also, this is, it reminds me of a the Metroid. Like, uh, Metroid Prime, uh, Chozo symbols? Power energy. Does neutral damage. So basically, if you are up against an enemy that is, like, type advantage against you, you want to do a neutral attack. Makes sense. I will most definitely forget to do that. And I'll just napalm to you. Probably didn't need to, because that got a link. Get nuked from orbit, kid. HP capsule B. Defense boost. Yeah, all these usable items that I'm never going to use. Come on, this should have been inactivatable. Kind of disappointed that these are the same ones we keep running into again and again. Yeah, I'll just normal attack you. And then we can normal attack you again. Of course, we shall save for paranoia reasons. How are things going? I believe my assistance was in the middle of operation when I noticed the connection link drop. Yes, there's nothing out of the ordinary here. Everything's still going according to plan. Hmm. Those are some impressive skills. I was a bit surprised myself. To see how adep adept Neon has gotten to using Digimon programs. No, I'm talking about you, Yuko Kamashiro. The way you've arranged the tour to the office, of the way you've been responding to everything, you're quite good at thinking on your feet. I'd say you're an old hat at this sort of thing, just who are you exactly? I don't know what to say. It's, I'm just me. I don't know who else am I supposed to be. Was there something else? Oh, we've been made. What? What was that just now? We could be in trouble. Seems our conversation is being eavesdropped on. It's in all likelihood, someone has placed a wiretap program on your Digivice in the real world. I should have noticed it sooner. It takes some real skill to finagle that specific of frequency. <laughs> Whoever's doing this knows their stuff. He's dropping? But that means... Yeah, I hate to make this call, but you need to pull out of there ASAP considering it a valiant retreat of sort. Valiant. Slow and steady wins the race. This line of work requires a patient and diligent response. Disposition. But Neon's still inside. Yes, I doubt it'll be easy to get the abort mission order through. But Neon is my assistant, and should be able to figure something out. But that's... You're not in a position to worry about anyone else right now. Hurry up and get out of there. I'll wait for whatever caused my assistant's little vanishing act to wear off. On our way out, it should be possible to cover your tracks and employ some misdirection from, uh, from the outside. It's too risky to keep the conversation going. I'm going to cut the line. Time for big hack times. All right, that's the way we came in. That'll probably be further in. Hacking skill code scan. Analyzes project codes and of the target and unlocks it. Make it possible to access encrypted data. Code and scan. Accessing server. Data download complete. Devil pack hacker. Man, he treats people like crap, too. Hey, naked off. 
Uh, is there even a reason why we're on the lookout duty? I know, right? Come assure your security measures are top tier. No one's getting through that easy. What are you so care scared of? Oh no, I feel an electric sneeze coming on. I should explain what this is. It's a physiological phenomenon that the digital body experiences during a dive in the digital world. Essentially, there's no difference between that and the sneeze in the real world. Why are you explaining it to me? It's just a sneeze, but it's the type of voluntary movement that your body can't hold back. And right now, it's not the time for one. What a pain, man. What a pain. I told you to knock it off. There's where This is where they're messing about. I'm sure I heard that somewhere. Huh? Huh? Oh, shooey. Yeah, something would definitely throw up like... What the what? You... Where did you pop from? Who the heck are you? You actually managed to break in? But this... This is Kamashiro we're talking about. Who the heck are you? So like... We're the, what are we gonna do with this dweeb? What are we going to do? What are we ordered to do? Take care of the intruder. Hey you. What are you doing here? Is it Kai? No, it's Yugo. Oh, snap! Yugo! What the heck's Yugo doing here? How the heck would I know? Do you have fake Kamishiro employee IDs or... No, you were given access privileges, right? Someone from Kamishiro hired you. Who was it? Who brought you here? Uh, and like, who knows? Am I right? We don't gotta answer to you! Uh, do we? You mean to bring shame to the Zaxxon name? Yeah! Oh boy, Jimmykin. Yoo-hoo! up? Everyone's all here, Lowe's. It's really him, Jimmykin and his air guitar to drive demons wild. Yes! I am Jimmykin! Yahoo! Yugo also is lost. Thank you very much, Yugo. Lowe's. What a coincidence running into you here. Such a coincidence that it rocks, Lowe's. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You're wrapped up in this too. What's going on here? Gee, what indeed? What could it be? Let me throw the same question right back at ya. So like, why? Why are you here, lols? Hello, Purple Fire Kitty. We are being harassed by Rocker Horror Picture Show pic Picture Show Abomination Rockman. By which I mean, is that your excuse, lols? Yamau! Can't got your tongue? I see. Lols? Yeah, that makes sense. Lol, lol, lol. Let me guess. You can't tell me, can you, Yugo? You pretty little thing. Okay, 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 okay. But any dang way, on to more important things. Let's say that I owe you a pretty big favor the, uh, for the other day, uh huh. That's my special way of saying thank you. I'll knock you out, black and blue. How's about you be good little boys and girls and become my new number one fans? I have no idea what this guy's deal is. He was just a complete and utter weirdo. We've only met him twice, and he just comes here to steal the show. <laughs> Maniac man. And we get to fight him again. Blue Miramons. That shouldn't be terrible, but he could just... Yeah, okay, shouldn't be terrible. We already beat a blue... Dibbity Dot before. Can't tell if that's normal, but either way, just obliterate him with a Grand Rock. Oh boy! I should probably panic one of them. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, but it wouldn't go be good for you. Hmm. I'll exhaust flame to be safe. Let's see. Good gale storm. Doesn't help that this room makes it hard to see if that's that. Eh, no, it wouldn't. But let's try this. Nah, should should not do that in the future. Damn it, panicked. Why? 
right, we'll lightning paw you and hope you get panicked. Nope, he blocked it. Haha, <laughs> he hit him anyway. Huzzah. Then we shall destruction cannon. Ah, dibbity down. Luckily, that didn't do much damage. Why do you get guaranteed panics? That is very annoying. Probably should have put the anti-panic on somebody. But oh well. Hopefully the panic will wear off. It does mean that I'm low on like actual skill usage. Probably do a heal. You're the more important one right now. So we'll heal you up. Oh, you became unpanicked. I shall lightning paw you. Dang it, quit blocking the effect. Exhaust flame! Should probably use abilities and stuff. Go ahead and heal you so you don't go down. I'll just use destruction cannon. This time it actually hits Huzzah. But, uh, no, I think these guys are like protected. from the effect of, uh, like, panic for some reason, which is kind of bothersome. This is their special attack, which, ah, didn't do that much damage. I'll keep doing this to, in hopes of getting that, uh, attack buff. Oh, that's not good at all. Another hit like that would take him out. And we can't have that. Hmm. Let's try Earth damage. Very rude dudes. Comet Hammer. Yeah, we finally got a combo. Also realized that the combo is uh, two points there. Go for a destruction cannon. That's ah, normal attack. Goody for you. Yeah, we'll just use nightmare for now, and I think it's a better attack overall. Damn it, missed. I hardly ever miss anything ever, and this is the time when we miss both. Hmm. Go ahead and use heal on your turn. I think I think uh, destruction cannons overall better. And I think they're the same technically. The plague. Oh hey, me your fault. Doesn't really matter because it does not that much damage. It just hits a lot, which is kind of funny. Hmm, we'll just walk in napalm one because you shouldn't have that much health left. Huzzah! Now your friend's down. I just realized I had anti-panic and I could have freed Growlmon from the anti-panic with the anti-panic, but I didn't do it because I forgot I had anti-panic. I am a fool. Ah, let's see what happens with the neutral thing, power energy. Ah, nope, Nightmare 2 seems better. Uh, why do you have a special ability? Well, that's not good at all. Ah, uh, you know what? I probably should have defensed.
there for Quagamon. Quagamon's probably gonna get nuked, but oh well. Hmm. Vulcan Napalm. Nightmare 2. Ah, uh, Cold Flame. That actually doesn't do much damage. Except he got a critical hit. Bastard. I'll use Destruction Cannon from Quagamon. Then I'll revive Black Godamon. Or should I? Uh -huh. We'll wait a bit. Woken Napalm 2. Alright, we should bring back Automop. Because Anti-Panic sounds really good right now. Let's see. Revival Capsule. Alright, you're just buffing again. Which really doesn't do much. All in all. Well, he's out of SP. Oh well. Got him on. Anti Panic Kuagamon. Another Cold Flame. So if it hits Black Gotamon. Oh, oh yeah, you have a, uh, you have an attack up. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that you would do a lot of damage actually. Go ahead and heal as well. I don't think Growlmon would take that much damage, so we shouldn't worry too much about it. Ah, oh, you're just panic wisping. And just for the perfect turn to allow me to completely negate that. Idiot. Get knocked down, Jimmikin weirdo man. And I got two memory ups! Yes! Hell yeah. Oh, say what? Hang lols on lols. What is this? What? These Digimon are hella weak. This ain't rock. It ain't even fooling around either. Hold on. What? Today's been kinda. <laughs> My throat is all. <laughs> kinda messed up. <laughs> you pick it up. This mess I'm putting down. What they said. <laughs> Alrighty then. On that note, Lowe's. <laughs> Yugo is constantly just. has no idea what to think of that guy. You should get out of here fast. I have disabled security in the surrounding area. If you go now, you should be able to get out safely. And don't explain anything either, Yugo. Well, I guess security is down. There, I got through. Abort mission, get out of there now. Oh, you found the case files. All the more reason to hurry and get out. Our plans were leaked to the enemy. I don't know how bad the damage is. But right now, just be careful. Neat. But there was more to explore there. Damn it. The office has been in an uproar for a while now. Was everything all right? They didn't find you, did they? I didn't get to explore everything! Damn it! I see. Then they're probably using all this hacker business to clean things up. I doubt Kamashiro would publicly admit to being infiltrated by hackers. It'd be a huge scandal. I'm guessing they'll keep this under wraps. Let's return to the detective agency, then. Oh, we got the case files. Huzzah. Never underestimate an opponent, I suppose. You think someone was eavesdropping? Huh. Either way, we got the data we wanted. All is well that ends well and all that. Okay, let's check out our spoils. 
There should be details of the illegal corporate buyout by Kaneshiro in those files. There's information on the Nile Corporation as well. Here it is. The file on Makoto Yamashina. Yes, yes. He was the lead researcher at Nile back then. Seems he was a man who took quite a lot of pride in his research. But he changed his line of work and insists he's never even heard of Kamishiro, despite their having bought out his own former company. Hmm. What's wrong, Kyocha? This is very interesting indeed. There was another lead researcher at the Nile Corporation besides Makoto Yamashina. Akimi Su... The weird man? The weird man from the tunnel, okay. Akima Suodo. Oh yes, I think I remember that guy. A misanthropist. He hated to be with other people and hardly left an impression. Why? What's he have to do with anything? He currently works at Kamishiro. I don't know the exact details, but... Akimishiro Suodo, I can't say that name for the life of me, is said to be one of the architects of the foundation of the Eden Network. Eden! Suodo! I can't say that fucking name. His main research was on turning human thought into data. The avatar system that forms the backbone of Eden's virtual reality service was brought, uh, brought about almost entirely because of his work. But to think he did that while at the Nile Corporation. Hmm. Say, Kyo-chan, could you let me handle this case for a bit? I've never stopped thinking about it. I want to go back over it one more time, real thorough. Doing it my, I mean, our way. If a true detective like you says so, I have no reason to deny you. Sorry, I'm gonna borrow these files. Go right ahead. Say hi to my dad. Okay. See you later, then. Well, there we are. A tried and true detective will continue the case. I don't see a problem. I figured we could continue, uh, would continue to assist with the investigation, of course. If you'll excuse me, then. Hmm. We all have our sorrows and our joys. I appreciate all your efforts here. The investigation involved some pretty thrilling stuff, even for a detective. You must be exhausted, body, mind, and soul. Relax for a while. You're gonna make more horrible coffee, aren't you? A worried client and a puzzling case are calling! Hmm, you're certainly in good spirits. But what I mean is that you should rest while you can. That's one of our responsibilities, too. Because there will always be times when the cases won't wait and you won't be able to rest. So you should rest now while you can. Don't waste the window of opportunity. You're not convinced? You must be overflowing with energy. Alright, I've got some work to give you. A special job that only you can do. I, you don't mean a guinea pig for your latest caffeinated concoction? <laughs> Such a rudimentary conjecture. No, your being the test subject was furthest from my mind. I was planning on giving you a treat. Hmm. Let's try to match things to your taste this time. All right, to start with, what do you prefer, salmon roe or sea urchin? I recommend both, personally. Next, I was thinking about adding some stew. What do you think as far as ingredients go? Well, what might you think? Carrots, potatoes, beef, mushrooms? Or should we just throw them all in? Nightmare coffee. Nightmare coffee. At this rate, is Jimmykin gonna be the only... <laughs> like boss we run into okay what's our next move going to be i think we need to get more information after all we've got the digital waves happening all over the place the mystery instance plus your half cyber body plus there's kamishiro case that matoshi is working on there's a lot we need to keep our eyes on oh my we have a visitor well well so this is matoshi's secret weapon hello bakugo if he was a female detective Whoa, something is fishy! What's going on here? Welcome to the reliable and experienced Kira May Detective Agency. Do you have a case for us, Assistant Inspector Makiko Date of the Cyber Crimes Unit Special Office? Hmm, <laughs> you already know everything about me? That makes this even fishier! Well, I've taken the liberty of looking into you, too. That makes two of us, I guess. We'll meet again. No yelling of all the rescue? Hmm. That's a rather lackluster way of putting things for someone as unique and individually stick in their word and fashion choices, Assistant Inspector. What? You say, you say fishy, but what exactly do you mean by that, I wonder? Is there actually some foul stint you've turned up, or was that just a figure of speech? You've piqued my curiosity. Hey now, what's that got to do with anything? Well, since you know so much already, I'll just cut to the chase. You're helping Matayoshi with his investigation, correct? And that means you're helping me with my investigation as well. Right? But of course. As lowly detectives, we can uh, uh, abrogate our duty to assist the police. 
Isn't that right, Neon? My duties are yours, and your duties are yours. Carry them out to the fullest. Oops, I have to be going. I have an appointment with a client. Oh, great. Now I'm left alone with the crazy Bakugo detective. Ha! You were just thinking dirty thoughts, weren't you? What? Hmm. Okay, you're under arrest. <laughs> Hilarious. Serial disappearances in Akihabara. Did I actually? No. <laughs> so she just says, you're under arrest. And then we just sit down. You've heard the rumors of the Akiba disappearances. Nearly 10 people have gone missing in Akihabara. Half of them haven't been officially reported yet, and it hasn't even developed into a major case. But for a bunch of grown-ups to suddenly vanish, poof, voila, without a trace for no reason, and to spend a measly two months? That's weird, I'm telling you. This is a big deal. But as far as top brass is concerned, since there isn't any valid connection between these incidents, we don't actually have a case. But my gut's telling me to investigate this. You got a problem with that? Then shut up and let me do my job. You didn't even let me get a word in edgewise. I lost my cool and started yelling at the top brass. At which point, Matayoshi had to smack some sense into me. So the higher-ups stepped back and left me alone. Matayoshi saved my bacon yet again. Be that as it may, I finally got why that stubborn old man would back away from that case so quickly. He was a secret weapon in an investigation. So there, so there should be no complaints if I use it too, then. Yeah, you un do understand. Let's just get down to business. Neon got data on the Digivice. I just sent the list of people who've gone missing, the Akiba disappearances. We don't have much on the way of details because it's not an official case. I use my gut to help pick out individuals here in Tokyo who might have a connection to any of the missing persons. What? You have a problem with that? I'm, I'm a silent individual. I'm a silent protagonist. Oh, shoot. Mariyoshi's calling me. All right, I've got to go. You should gather info on the people on that list for now. Something's bound to turn up. Some person in common, a place, a shared hobby. That's how it is on TV, right? All the time. And, uh, and do not tell Mariyoshi about this. If word gets out, you know what will happen. As long as we're clear on that. Again, it's like if Bakugo was a detective yelling, I'll arrest you instead of I'll kill you. How did it go? Did you youngsters have fun? She threatened to arrest me. You got the word? Akihabara? Akihabara. His appearances. Jokes aside, we're caught up a pretty rough customer now. That's your... No, that's my karma at work. Regardless, you took on the case, so I expect you to do a good job. I'll stay out of Detective Mariyoshi's way by not making any moves out in the open. Relax, though. I'll be still supporting you. Well, let's get down to it. What are you planning to do? I'm going to go look for people. I see. Get involved in the missing persons from Akihabara. A detective needs to tread on the same path over and over again, but I can tell you know that already. By the way... When I checked fishy, had meanings like shady, dubious, and tricky. And certainly a detective might unknowingly take on a fishy air, I suppose. But I think that's just a front, and I'm not alone in that. As it is, you're an unconventional cyber sleuth. I'm looking forward to catching a whiff of whatever stitch you wind up emitting. Everybody is so weird in this world. Nine! Nine. There's still heaps of things I don't understand, but for now, I thank you. Think got pretty crazy after that. I wish I had more info on the father. Leave it to Kyoko's underling to get a hold of some top secret documents. If Mr. Mariyoshi learns that I asked you to investigate the incident, I'm toast! Toast. And I don't want to get arrested, so I'll do my best. <laughs> but nine. But nine. But nine. Where'd the other nine go, then? Oh, from here. Quiz time, Omnimon can div uh, digivolve from Black War Greymon. What go Omnimon blank can digivolve from Black War. What goes in? Blank. Black. I'm gonna hang out with my Digimon friend soon. You should come, too. Sounds cool. I'd love to join, but I never go. I'm not even sure if that was all of them. And no real new cases except for the Togemon. Well, off to Akihabara. First, we're gonna check and see any new dibbly d. Does not seem to be any new dibbly d. Wait, I forgot to put the 
Digifarm back on an investigation. I don't believe. I command you, investigate! Oh. Let's go ahead and feed everyone. Just use up all the resources while I get absorbed elsewhere. And again, nobody notices. It would be hilarious if at the end of the game she's like, I still don't know how you do that disappearing trick with the weird swirling light. Now I get to walk around, talk to five billion people. The, 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 this humble one is just Mimi Tan fan. I heard on the Mimi Tan forums that there's a private Mimi Tan event here in Akiba. Have you heard disappearances? Disappearances? W what? Mimi Tan's been spirited away. Mimi Tan has passed away to the land of Akiba. What's with the situation? Straight out of my art, animus. Man, not only is your charisma maxed out, but your fantasies are top class too. Big scary. In the face of someone of such a huge high stats, how am I even supposed to respond? Unstable nerd indeed. Why are you Jojo posing? The nerd's holy land, Akihabara. I finally made my pilgrimage. I do see a sexy anime girl up there, so this must be the nerd's dream. Anime nerd boy. Mimi Tan is so kawaii. I heard from Mimi Tan fan on the Mimi Tan forums that there's a private Mimi Tan event nearby. Garietto? <laughs> Bleg. Why do I always sneeze in twos? Welcome. You are the recovery. Wait, didn't I get an emerald? I should sell that emerald. Emerald for 1800. Are you ready to come home, master? What? Disappearances. Oh, I don't know. Forgive me. Yeah, you, you speak weird. Get ha be asked a weird question, too. What should I buy now? There's so many choices. How about that truck? Ooh, what do you think of the games that came out this week? I think we're going to have to buy them. Mood. No, I dropped it because you talked to me. I need absolute concentration, okay? <laughs> Lol. Oh, hello. Won't you come to me at my shop? We can even hold hands. Wouldn't that be nice? Surely this isn't actually what <laughs> Tokyo is like. Surely. I'm here looking for appliances. Our washing machine broke the other day. The day after that, the microwave broke too. Yesterday, the fridge went out. Two hours ago, the TV blew a fuse. And then to top it off, my new Digivice stopped working for no apparent reason. Pretty soon, I'll be broken too. <laughs> I feel you, dude. Mm, oh, no, no. Disappearances. What? No way. Is this an investigation? Are you a cop? Oh, you're a sleuth. Then in that case, I have some info for you. I won't let it go for free, though. Mm, what do you need? I'm not asking for much. I'm certainly not asking for money or anything. To tell you the truth, I am... I, I'm in love. Pure love. It was love at first sight for both of us. But here's uh, her deal, right? She's shy, but maybe it's her first time being in love. So she's, <laughs> she's so pure like a picture come to life. I've tried talking to her, but the words won't come out. So well, that's where you come in. I want you to go ask her something. Like her contact information. Her name, address, and <laughs> address, dude, calm down. And her Digiline ID. Could you do that one thing for me? Because we're like friends and stuff, right? Best friends even. You are JoJo posing. No way, really? You'll do it? You'll really do it? I shook my head, I thought. But it's really good info. Really, really super good info. Well, if you see her, be sure to hit her up for her contact info. What does she look like? She wears glasses, has long hair, she's very prim and proper, oh, and she loves me. I lost track of her a while ago in Akihabara. Thought she might be still be here. And she works at the florist, if you ask there, they'll know. So I guess I'll see you around. Why am I... Why do I get wrapped up in just the weirdest people? Omni-Zwart? Yeah, because I'm not Super Digimon. 
I am not the best Digimon in the world. Alright, let's check the map. So, Florist. I don't know where Florist might be. Oh, over here? What should I buy now? Florist staff. Do I work at the floor shop? No, no, not me. Oh, say, I wanted to ask you, which is better this way or that? <laughs> yeah, that way? No way. This is so much better. Yeah, that seems how it goes. Welcome, master. Quit it. Of course I'm not a florist. I'm a dutiful maid. Who acts creepy, if you ask me. You're still present. Please leave. <laughs> She wants him to leave, doesn't she? Yes, Floris, what are you talking about? The weird guy is press-ganging me into this. What? Why am I looking at that person? That's, well, because I... Because that weird guy is stalking me. So I'm hiding here until the creep goes away. I'd hate for him to follow me home. By the way, who are you? You wouldn't happen to be... Yeah, he's weird. He asked me to do this. What? A detective? That weird guy. Hired you to ask after me? Yeah. Um, can you tell him something for me? I'm totally turned off by weird guys, and there's no way I would return to the affections of a weirdo like him. I'll definitely do it. Please, you have to do this for me. But I'm glad you came along. If this kept up, I might have done something drastic. Die, stalker, die! Stalker directed by Tarkovsky. <laughs> what are these answers? Unforgivable. Die, stalker, die. I, I guess it's kind of funny that they give multiple answers that are basically the same thing in one that doesn't really matter as a choice. Hello, stalker. I'm here to beat you up. You're a stalker. I'm going to report you, creep. So I'm G. Trimble. Huh. And stay away from her from now on. Yeah, well, I'm so sorry. I'll tell you whatever I want. Quit JoJo posing. Um, yeah, so there's this guy I know, okay? And he's in and out, okay? And of a certain form in Eden, okay? And what guy knows somebody, okay? Who disappeared in Akihabara, okay? And there are people, the guy knows somebody. Who knows somebody else? Who knows somebody, okay? And they're all disappearing, okay? Maybe okay? Maybe the form is related to the disappearances? Just my opinion, but I wanted to share it, okay? Where is the Eden Forum? It's right here. The Comic Mania Forum. Well, the Kam Kamimani Forum for short. Thank you! You're welcome! <laughs> it's like someone flipped a switch or something. <laughs> Falling from the forest, girl. How trite. <laughs> anyway, I got to get... <laughs> While I'm on my way, I think I'll skip reporting into Kyoko. That... What even? I don't gotta tell you what happens if you find slacking in a job, do I? That's jail time right there! <laughs> uh, a lot of the quirky... At least all the main characters that we interact with multiple times are like a fun weird. We don't get the creepy stalker people 24-7. And luckily, the sexual harassment character is a woman who is a villain. So we get to beat her up later. Probably. Honestly, that would be kind of hilarious. A villain is a human being in a Digimon show, and then eventually that villain gets transported to the digital world and gets beaten up by a Digimon. Would be badass. That's freaking hilarious. It's the Comic Mania Forum, or the Kamimani Forum for short. Let's get on with the missing and looking for the individuals. <laughs> but I just love that the moment a, char a character was stalking another character, our main character just loses it. Disappearance is in Akihabara. Nope, don't know anything, nothing to do with me. More importantly, what do you think about the continuation of the series that were complete? It's dumb, right? I mean, the thing was finished. No one asked for anything more, so why do it? I can't believe people condone such an outrage. Anyone who'd coddle a creator like that is no true fan. Yep, this is Comic Mania for sure. Oh, your detective looking into the Akiba disappearances. Maybe we shouldn't talk quite so loud about this. I reckon I have a hunch who the culprit is. Shh, 
shh now. I told you not to be so loud. We'd be in front of the criminal heard us. Right? It's like how I know what the criminal's thinking. At the very least, I was someone who'd be hitting up this forum. And it's so risky to talk here. And we can talk in the real world. Come to the used bookstore in Nakano. Okay, then I'll be waiting for y'all. She left. I'll get to the used bookstore when I'm finished. Disappearances? Sorry, I don't know anything. It's true I haven't seen um, regulars in a while. Pulled up at home riding, maybe? Or they just graduated? Quote, unquote. You know, like... <laughs> dying as a hololive creator. Have any forum members disappeared? That's a bit of an overstatement. They probably just got bored and stopped logging in. I mean, this place is run by an old guy like me. They must have just gotten bored. I mean, I'm so boring and awful. Stuck with a geezer like me, then... Kind of a mood. Self-deprecation, my dude. Missing persons? Maybe they just went underground, fleeing deadlines. I can understand that. I really can. Suzuya's new manga's amazeballs. So many twists, huh? Missing people beats me. I think I've got enough information. It's about time I headed to the bookst- Arada? Huh? Hey, what are you doing here? What? Neon? What the heck are you doing here? I love that it takes him a moment to realize. Huh? What are you doing here? Clicks who it is. <gasps> oh, you're investigating a case, huh? Uh, what's the investigation? What's the case? It's one of those confidential things. Oh, why that attitude all of a sudden? I thought we were buds. Come on, spill the beans. You are such a weird character, Rada. The Akiba disappearances. Yeah, I heard some folks from this one forum went missing. And one of the members is the perpetrator. That sounds cool. I'll give you a hand. I'm free right now. Let's go to Nakano, then. We're going to meet with our informant there, right? Was there for something I needed to do here? Not particularly. It's not like so that. I just happen to be passing by is all. Is there something on your mind? Like maybe what the what's the Kamimama money form? Like it stands for something really out there, like communist manufacturing or something. I'll go on ahead. Don't keep me waiting, okay? I can't get a read on Arada. I can't get a read on that dude. He's just so weird. He's just so weird. Just weird patterns, just weirdness all around. <laughs> I think he's a good guy. He's just weird. <laughs> I just cannot get a read on that dude. Hey, detective over here. Hey, how long we're all gonna wick me me wait? I'm getting gray hairs waiting on ya. Why does everyone answer like that? What? Hey, you ain't gonna make no complaint? Could it be? Are you that kind of feather? In one ear out the other? Oh, it's because she has an accent. Maybe. I don't know. Well, anyways, just be careful next time. Going back to what we were talking about, I don't reckon that the criminal is a Kamimani member. Really? That forms a place for manga fans, right? Yeah? There's some manga artists there, too. A little while ago, someone uploaded an original manga to the forum. It was really good. What with the drawings and the frame breaks and all. The story and characters seemed sort of familiar. It weren't no exact copy or nothing, but there was a right strong feeling of deja vu. But there were these idiots who left a bunch of trash comments on the comic. I'm guessing you know what's coming next. They were the first to disappear. But non-members can comment on the site as well, so people who aren't connected to the forum have gone missing as well. I'm betting it's the folks who left crummy comments who are the ones who went missing. Only official mem forum members can upload manga to the site, though. So the way I figured it, the culprit's gotta be... Well, I ain't got no proof or nothing. But the manga and the comments have long since been deleted. Really? There's no way to identify the perpetrator now. But even still, I've been a big help, right? You definitely have. But to be honest, I don't want no trouble. I don't know, but the forum's vibe has changed since members started disappearing. It's strange, I know. I mean, it's cyberspace, but still... I seriously get the shivers sometimes. It's like someone's staring at me, you know? The feeling? It was awful and nobody would want to talk about it. Yeesh, I got goosebumps just talking about it. I ain't been to Eden for a while. Well, yeah, well I met you in Eden. Hm. I don't know if time, time is weird in this world. Time is odd. Well then, Detective, good luck you here. I'll need to break a leg. <laughs> Come on. I guess this is like... This is probably one of the localization things that were difficult because she probably said break a leg 
like in Japanese and it might not have been a uh, actual bibbidi bop uh, a saying in Japan maybe I don't know break my leg why would I do that what what's got near you all of a sudden I thought you were listening all serious like and now you're trying to be the funny one jeez what's your deal this serious talk and you're going all funny on me this is hogwild I'm guessing this must be a Tokyo thing so I'm guessing she's a foreigner who's like able to speak huh so the data's all been deleted huh I suppose a newbie might think that. All right, leave this to me. By which I mean, can I use your agency's PC? Still can't get a read on that guy. I ought to head it off to the Kuramiya Detective Agency. My Digiline has been blowing up. Hey, what kind of friends do you have? We've already answered that question, but you're new. Yeah, you get it. We gotta work for our info. So says Mr. Masayoshi, anyway. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's Victory Man. V -v Victory! Thanks for finding me, Victory Ochida. Was it easy to pick me out of these crowds? Well, here's a prize for finding me. Vigor Mushroom, Creepy Mon Metal. Till next time, V for me! If Victory Ochida was a real person in real life, they'd be shanked by now. Uh, hang on, just one sec. <laughs> Here it is, the site log. Now we can track down the data that was deleted. Even when users think they've deleted data, it still exists on the server. The region where it's stored is protected and the data itself is encrypted, but... If I can break into Eden's ordinary servers, then this should be a snap for me. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, it's nothing, really. Now, do you want to look for the data in question? If we restore the comments, we should be able to find what we're looking for. What is this data? Hmm, if that's what we're looking for, then it was put together by a very unique program. Could this... Is this a Digimon program? I've never been able to properly analyze one. I see, the structure is certainly similar, but if so, then it's been significantly altered. It's been affected by something that can be expressed with ones and zeros, or maybe that's what the very something is. It's also possible that an eater was involved. <laughs> this is pretty cool! If I keep running across stuff like this, maybe I could be a cyber sleuth too. But hanging around here won't help. Let's check it out, Neon! Unsurprisingly enough, this weird data was sent on to Kowloon after it was deleted. This way we can check it out directly, and if it's a nasty program like an eater, we can just use our Digimon to fight it off. We just strike while the iron's hot. Let's meet at Galacti Galacti Park in Kowloon. Well, you've got a one talented partner there. If he's your assistant, and that makes him my assistant's assistant. Well then, my assistant, yield to your assistant's zeal. There's an old saying, with skill comes luck. When you really look at it, the fact that you and he have formed this connection shows your own luck along with your skill. Respect that, or you're sure to regret it. I've got to meet Arata at Galactic Park in Kowloon. That's funny to me. <laughs> that I just got him hooked on this cyber sleuth thing. Lately, Sakura's been acting weird for some reason. Yeah, it seemed like something was up before. Don't tell me that... What's his name? Yamakin is, like, brainwashing people with his terrible music. Come along, my Digimon. Muffa we go. What? Shucks, that detective may hear no more. I was hoping Neon might come, uh, come with me to the cops. I don't want no trouble. But I can't just leave it like this. I'm the sweetest girl in all of Japan. Is the detective still around here, I wonder? What? Oh, it's you. Heck, it's been an awful long time. No wonder wondering how y'all were. We were all so worried. Wonder if you might have disappeared. Hey, what's the matter? You're freaking me out. What? Go to Akihabara? Now? Sure, sure, I guess. Shall we uh, get going then? Well, great. Things are going bad back there, too. Okay, you ready? The data sh we need should be somewhere on Kowloon Level 1, and we're going to look for it. Could potentially be a nasty program. Be careful when you check it out, okay? 
What's with you? You're really into this. Except the look on your face is weirding me out. Why? With skill comes luck. Huh, sheesh. I just do not get you sometimes. <laughs> Dude, I don't get you sometimes. We are obviously the best team together. We cannot understand each other together. As always, we check all the nooks and crannies in case something weird is somewhere. Normally there isn't something weird, but still. Well, always good to check back here. Yeah, I'm just really digging this game. The feel is just really nice. The amount of Digimon is nice. Kind of disappointed that the Digimon don't, like, have, like, uh, that many voice lines. And if they do, they're, like, covered up by the music and stuff. Time to annihilate. Kill. We are so much faster than them, we get double turns before they get a turn. I mean, understandable, this is the starter area, but still. It amuses me. Code and scan. This has got to be it. Okie dokie. I'll see what I can do. Uh, it's not protected at all, but there's hardly any data here. Wait, what's this? I'm getting some weird feedback. Does this link to somewhere else? Uh, watch out, Neon! I think there's something strange on the other end of that link. It's coming! What the fuck? Wisemon. Make him confused! Oh, we did not get our, uh, stuff back. Because I, uh, yeah. I am not, oh, I should have known that would happen because it's a boss monster. Me fool. Hell crusher? Chomp chomp. It shouldn't be a terrible fight still, but I probably should uh, use some SP restores on my Digimon after this. Double kick. Did I get critical double drop kicked in the chest, wise man? You got beat up by an adorable Digibar. Don't look! What? Don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Hey, don't let him get away! Oh, got him. That was pretty darn close. <laughs> I told you to leave it to me. I followed him like a hawk. Looks like he was running toward Akihabara. There's an internet cafe called Ara Habaki in a building down some sketchy alley. It's been out of business for some time now. I know the place. There's a used bookstore downstairs from it. That's bingo with a triple seven. Jackpot! Maybe that's where the culprits behind these missing persons cases are making their hideout. What? Call it into the police? You want backup from the detective chick doing the, c the cop cosplay? Hey now, no thank you. Kleiner is just asking for trouble. At least wait until we figure things out first. Anyway, we should hurry over there. If he gets away again, we're screwed. Promise me you won't call on anyone? Not even that old guy, Mariyoshi or whatever. I'll be waiting in Akihabara, so hurry up. And you wait for me too. We're solving this one together. Do you have my back in this, pal? I'm off to Akihabara. How's your health these days? Eating right? I'm tired in the mornings, plus I have no appetite. Why would I put that? I'm feeling good and eating well. How about you, Mom? Yeah, she's a bit distracted. She's been weird since she got into Jimmykin. Is it literally going to be Jimmykin is... Wait, is, was that an open chest? Yeah, that's an open chest. Is it literally going to turn out that Jimmykin is... Like, brainwashing people with his horrible music? 
Is he using a Digimon to auto-tune his voice? Funnily, I... Wait. Yeah, I think it might be actually faster to use this to get out. Checking to make sure nothing new. Now we'll go ahead and, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot. Now I can probably bring in more Digimon if I so chose. Wrong one, Bibbidi Bop. Hmm. The question is, would I want to bring another Digimon along? Let's check out the Digilab. First, let's check the DigiD. Six minutes. Let's see. Anybody need Digivolving? No. No. Almost. 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 Nearly there. Not so far. bring you along but then it just comes the matter of breaking my habits and actually using a Digimon like you well, let's go here and change the leader I suppose or would change leader like break the thing nope it did not good and I have lots of room champion. You're also champion. But you use less. Nullifies received stat reduction effects. Huh. Magic attack? Oh, that's a, up there. Well, let's go ahead and have you come along for the ride. Let's see. Anybody up near... Ah, Patamon's near leveling. We don't use you much. So yeah, we have a team full of champions. Let's head to Akihabara. And the question is, do I want to move any of my Digimon around? Hmm. Because let's see. Patamon is still a rookie, so... We don't want to use him in fights. Hmm. And we'll uh, keep Black Gautamon in front for now. Until... Normal Gatomon has gotten a little bit stronger. For God's sakes, Black Gatomon got nuked. So I wouldn't be surprised if non-Black Gatomon also got nuked, especially at a lower level. DVD Volume 1 in the upper right-hand corner. I didn't call for you, cop. And if I did, I wouldn't help you anyway. Our partnership is through. Hey, back there! I wonder what's waiting for us. Well, let's go see. Oh, boy! What is this? We're being sucked into the digital world? Digimon. 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 Another dungeon. Seriously? This is the same phenomena as the one we saw in the Shinjuku Underground. So does that mean there's an eater here? Yeah, I guess so. Come on, let's keep moving. What do you mean from one thing to the next? That's true, it's never boring when I'm with you. Huh. 
Uh, so there are multiple. Eh? Look over there. It's the country bumpkin. Mari! Mari! Hey, Mari, snap out of it! Why, Mari? Did you just get caught up by this in accident? No way. Did whoever was behind this get her too? You know her. Uh, keep calm and carry luggage? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Panicking isn't going to solve anything. We have to take care of this eater. This phenomena goes away and Mari will go back to normal. Okay, let's resume the investigation. There might be other people caught up in all this. Let's have a look around. She's alive, but unresponsive. There's a lot of dolls. Farm expansion! Yay! She? Ah, crap, it's the new Mamon. Kill the new Maman, he's ugly. Hmm, we'll just use Gaia Element. Yeah, that did decent damage. Kill it! How dare you survive! Luckily, you should be able to kill one or the other. Uh, you Gaia Element too. I don't even know if my partner, like, guest character Digimon can die. You again. Suedo! Oh my, well if it isn't you too. What are you doing here? You didn't actually predict the phenomena would occur in Akihabara, did you? <laughs> I did it as a matter of fact. My research is rapidly advancing to the point where I can pinpoint a digital wave state. I can identify the area where the shift will occur, within some degree of precision anyway. The shift? You mean this phenomena? Yes, I visited it a digital shift. Hey, that's the labyrinth phenomena. When you... Uh, <laughs> this is a big... Uh, when you publish, formally publish this, you should call it that. Labyrinth. Hmm, that does have a nice ring to it. It conjures up a vague sense of nostalgia. But it's already been decided. This one all shall be known as the digital shift. <laughs> whenever you want to call it, whenever the phenomena occurs, an eater appears. Defeating the eater will return things to normal? Indubitably! As you proved once before, from which I must thank you again. There are other people in here besides us. Things are strange. Oh. I keep uh, jumping from... Uh, not jumping from voice to voice. That was Arata speaking. There are other people in here besides us. This is strange across the board. It's also due to this phenomenon of yours? Hmm, that may indeed be the case. I can't imagine there being extreme effects on anyone's physical or mental state from being in the digital shoot. We are perfectly healthy right now. There may be long-term effects after for a while, however. <laughs> and the cause must lie elsewhere. An eater, or that Digimon we let get away. Nothing would surprise me if it happened to the real world. I must say, at any rate, that this phenomenon fascinates me. There aren't any possibilities I can pull out. So then the only way to know what's going on uh, for sure is for us to go have a look firsthand. <laughs> Guessing this was your intention all along, huh? Yep. Yes, yes! That's exactly how it is! I have some more investigating to do around here. If you need anything, feel free to call upon me. You are a weird, weird man. When a catalyst is applied to locations where a digital wave is almost dense, it digitally transitions or shifts. Thus the term, digital shift. Is there anything I can help you with? You can sell higher level... things. I'll buy a few of these. I think just having these and using them out of battle is more valuable. And 
uh, yep, I already got that. Ooh, I hope I get enough for uh, that kind of rookie Digimon so that I can get a Gazimon. If only I just I like a Digi I like Gazimon. Kill. Double kick. Probably should not have tried to just double kick it. Okay, just making sure. Quick bong one. Woken Napalm 2. Not the Venom Trap. Lol, you missed. <laughs> you suck! Well, full damage up combo. Get nuked. Oh, Panamon is so close to leveling up all the way. the weird guy it's that weird guy he must have been taken too yeah who is this guy you know him he's not a member of the Kami Mani forum and he wasn't on the list but isn't that a bit harsh calling him the weird guy like that she <laughs> he thought she was the florist girl because <laughs> he was stalking her huh what are you talking about I don't really get it but he has nothing to do with the manga that was uploaded to the site but that might not be enough just because he's not a member of the is the florist girl... Is the florist girl when she said that she would have to do something drastic? <laughs> How do I, I know he's not a member? Well, he's... I don't know. There's just something about him. He just doesn't seem like a member of the Kamimani Forum, you know? No, I don't know. What the fuck are you? I reiterate, what the fuck are you? It has angry googly eyes. Killer, killer. Kill him. Kill him now. Kill him viciously. I'm not sure if it's foreshadowing or what, but Arata's Digimon digivolved into the Digimon I had to kill first to save my Digimon. That might mean something. What did I even get? So it seems less get and more just destroy... Destroy... Specific ones, okay. Alright, so we should probably should have went to the left first time. I don't want to go that way just yet. Let's see. Yeah, smack him with a rock. Nightmare on this man. Okay, I don't know why. Sometimes Digimon just take a billion damage and die. Burn him alive! Burn him alive! Poison barrier. But honestly, oh, Patamon fully leveled up. Know what that means. We go to the Digilab and probably save scum so that we can see all the potential forms that Patamon can undergo. 
And then we'll maybe actually use him in battle. Let's see. Patamon. And none of them overtake us. Patamon can become Digimon. Wait. He can become the Fire Eve? Okay, let's see. This outline looks familiar, but we shall take a look. Patamon, did you evolve too? Repamon. I should have seen that coming. Repamon is fine, but I want to take a look at the other forms that it can undergo. So I have all my... Like, my, uh... All of my... What's the word? Not opportunities, but... Like... Oh, hey, Unimon. You always looked weird and you're super scarred. Which is kind of amusing. <coughs> I just want to have all my bases covered and have all the information. To be informed. Since we already know what you are, Berdramon, and you are obviously the boy, Anjumon, what are you? Watch this actually be Anjumon. XVMon! Neutral, so he has no, like, inherent downsides. Increases attack by 15%. Huh. Interesting. And we do have other... I think I'll keep you as XVMon. Ooh. And if you ha know a Digimon from the previous, you can de-Digivolve into a different Digimon than you started with? It... Wait, if that's Impmon... Then what's that one? Oh, Vmon. Duh, brain. So I could de-digivolve into a Impmon if I so chose. Into a Terriermon or... Ooh, into a Gazimon if I so chose. <laughs> a Goblin Mom. Or an Agumon. Of course, a weird, the weird rat Digimon would do that. Still, it would be very interesting to see what you become. Like, what options you have in the future. My main Digimon of use. And you're almost there, too. Very interesting. Oh, yeah. And let's see. Pokemon, Goblimon. We might as well have Goblimon exist. Goblimon. He has a wide variety of Digimon that he can become. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because I took... Sorceramon out, so... Goblimon, you may come into here. Wait, no, not there. Not there. The Farm Island. Bleg. I'll have to go dig Sunamon back out. Sunamon, you can go to the farm. Alrighty then. Oh, so this is a maze. No, I thought this would be a maze. Okie doke. I thought that would actually lead somewhere else, but no. Technically not. Very strange. these people are alive. We should... I knew it! I knew it would be you! I knew it would be you, you psychopathic maniac! I'm gonna gut you like a flower!
You are drawing on the air. Have to draw more. Have... Yeah, that's a mood. That is a mood. It is a very, very big mood. No freaking way. You're the culprit behind those disappearances? Oh my, Sonata. Is that you, Sonata? Yay, it's Sonata. It's really Sonata. Nishino, seriously? What are you doing? You can't tell by looking. I'm drawing a manga. Here, look it, look it. Look, 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 look. See how much I've done? I've been able to draw as much as I want. It's not a fanfic. It's original. <laughs> it's not fanfic. Hey, 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 hey. Wrong one. Hey, there is nothing wrong with working on fanfic. Well, I'm not, eh, then I guess um, in Japanese, Japan, it's a bit more of a, uh, what's the word, taboo? Because, like, uh, the the dudes behind uh, Dragon Ball Z Abridged have, at least one of them has explicitly gone on record that he has lost opportunities because the head uh, Japanese people will look at, like, some Japanese productions of, like, uh, English dubs, the English dub people will then sometimes have to go to the Japanese higher-ups and be like, hey, this is our list of people we want to use for the English dub. And then the Japanese higher-ups would be like, Herk, this person did fan dubs, burn them alive. Because, uh, I don't know. It's this weird thing, like, completely desp despite the fact that older Japanese works are like, oh yeah, we're gonna throw Pepsi around. And all these copyrighted terms, like, who cares? Oh, but how dare you do a fan thing on the internet? If you do a fan thing on the internet, we're gonna destroy your life and ban you, is the kind of feel. So I guess it would be a bit more of a relevant fear of a work you're working on being considered fanfic in this, like, Japanese context. Still. And also, it also heads into the realm of people being very against hey, don't compare my original thing to another original thing, which I personally think is ever so slightly stupid. It is my theory of the lust of originality, where people get insulted if you dare even so much as say, hey, this thing reminds me of another thing. Because, you know, why would the pattern, pattern recognition species of humanity dare to draw parallels and see patterns even when they're not there. That's where conspiracy theories come from. Yeah, I just think it's silly to get super hung up on people saying, hey, this reminds me of this, especially when people are like, hey, I like this because it reminds me of this and it goes to my various taste of, like, a pattern of things that I like. Plus, it is also a, like conversation coping mechanism to a degree where people are like, I don't know what to say. I will try to relate this to a thing that I like to begin conversation. And uh, it, and overall, I just think that eh, don't compare my thing to other thing is kind of a weaponization of anxiety, so yeah. Grow a spine ever so slightly and have respect for your own work and others, I'd say, overall. But yeah. Either way, I completely understand, Nishino. How is it? What do you think, Sadada? I'm incredible, aren't I? If I could draw this well, I should have no problem breaking into the industry and becoming a pro! You say you're drawing a manga? I don't get it. How is that a manga? Seriously, I'm not laughing. Even you're trashing my manga, Sanada. I knew it would be your reaction. I knew it. Here we go again. Whoa, that Digimon! Why the heck is it so darn big? You're the same as the others, Sanada. You ignore, then insult my work. Then you trample all over my dreams, laughing and shaming me. You smile and go on living as nothing happened. Yeah, she's losing her mind. Utterly crazy. Uh, Neon? I think she's missing a few screws. But I wipe the smirks off their faces. Here, whatever I say goes. Whatever I draw on my manga becomes true. You won't be laughing at me for long, Sanada. Of course, I won't kill anyone. After all, once my manga is complete, I'll need you guys to be my readers. 
You will be utter captives to my comic brilliance. Now, could you please be quiet until I'm done? Now, please, until it's ready. Don't look at anything. Don't look, don't look. Oh, that's where that came from. Nice scream there, voice actor. And remember, boss monsters cannot be targeted. Pen... What? Pandora dialogue? Oh, that's... That's not good. That, that's very bad. That's very bad. Um. Oh, hey, this does lots of damage. Kill. Kill it, kill it. Oh. Oh. That's not good. It... I know the attack to use next time. I know the attack to use next time. If we survive. That's not good. Woken Napalm. Last time it didn't do much. But I know this. Lightning Paw! It does the most damage. Oh, that's not good at all. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Exhaust flame! Slow it down if you can. Hell crusher. Oh, this is very bad. And the thing is, if I, like, use a, a revive, I only have one full revival spray. Hmm. Oh, that's a spray, so don't want to use that. Well, let's play uh, a little bit silly. Four up. Uh, no. Mm, four revival spray. Nightmare. Dang it. Should have used Thunderpaw. And you know what? HP spray. Go ahead and smack him if you can. Nah, I should have used Ice Fang. Oh, hell, this is gonna kill. Okay, it didn't kill. Yay. Woken Napalm! While it can't do confusion, it does guaranteed 150. Freeze Fang! Oh, you're gonna kill Black Godamon again. Oh no. Thank God. Because I'm fairly certain that both light and dark are super effective against each other, so it would have done a lot of damage. Yeah, you get to kill. Oh nope. Godamon gets the kill. Kill it, kill it. We just had to waste our soul full revival spray. Profound sadness. My dreams, they're all. Without them, I can't draw anymore. Nishino, 
I was really looking forward to your manga. You know how you like to draw manga? I was jealous of that. It looks so much fun. All I can do is read them. I also can't believe things turned out this way. No, I don't want to believe it. I guess I just never realized, Nishino. Sanada. I just wanted everyone to enjoy it. Something started to swell up inside me. I couldn't stop it. Why does this feel like a Digimon uh, persona? Where, like, people's, like, shadows take over them and they, like, do crazy things. That, that, that feels... This, more, this feels like persona. Why? Tell me why. Oh, here we go again. Eh? This is bad. Run! Eat her here. Oh, is she gonna get eat? Well, shit. Damn you. How could you? Observing. Freeze Fang. And this is why. Lightning Paw. Actually. I should have. Actually. Growlmon. Make way for Godomon, will you? Oh, wait. Come on. Growlmon. Godomon. Yes. Because these two are game breakers. Hey, Godomon. Lightning Paw. <laughs> That fixed 150 damage. Hilarious. But Nishino is dead. Now I think we'll go back to normal. What about Nishino? She got et. And what's Yugo doing? Or will do? Heh, <laughs> you really solved it. How the heck did you do it? Digimon. Especially seen as it was such a bizarre case. We followed up on your report and found all the people were missing, they're safe, but none of them have any memory of what happened. And the perpetrator has fallen unconscious, seems she's a victim of Eden Syndrome. So now I don't have anyone to question! What's all these bizarre cases like? like? And then you... You really don't know anything, huh? I'll arrest you, I guess. <laughs> Whenever I learn my good intel, somehow it always gets back to Mariyoshi. I'll let things slide this time. Alright, get going. Get out of here before Mariyoshi shows up. Oh, and thanks for your help. Eden Syndrome? Nishino! When the Eater attack Nishino, she must have had contracted Eden Syndrome. Eaters consume data. If, say, humans could exist in a semi-digital form within the digital shift, Nishino could have been partially consumed. Maybe it just ate her consciousness in data form. Your avatar, your mental data, is devoured by an Eden, uh, eater in Eden, but your physical body remains in the real world. That's what Eden Syndrome is. What can we do to, then to cure it? If we defeat an eater, does the data get all get gobbled up, come back out? No, we defeated that eater, but Nishino is still unconscious. Maybe there's a eater construct core that all the data goes to? It's no good! We just don't know enough! We need to find Suido and ask him. For now, I'm going to look after... Going to go looking for after the eaters for some more. See you later. And that means my body's going to... Die. Yeah, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that! <laughs> Would've been hilarious if a smile happened on the avatar right then. Hmm, quite the adventure. A labyrinth, some disappearances, and a giant Digimon to boot. It's that giant Digimon that warrants the most attention, though. Let's think back to that man who was being controlled by that one Digimon. That Digimon had influence over him, but this girl seems to have had the influence over the Digimon. Her deep-seated delusions, her desperate need for approval, the workings on of her mind called a Digimon to her, and she wound up in complete control over it. The bond between them then grew stronger when the labyrinth appeared to a supernatural degree. 
She was no hacker, though. She was just an ordinary person only weakly connected to the Digimon. Regardless, this incident occurred as a result of the, Digi of the fact that Digimon was enhanced. There's phenomenal powers hidden away within the realm of human consciousness. Anyway, congratulations on solving the case. Thanks for all your hard work. You are not only blessed with good luck, but also continue to exhibit great skill. I couldn't ask for anything more. I'm so happy. I am concerned about Akimi Suido's activities, however. Why was a man of his caliber alone inside the labyrinth despite all the dangers he would face? Maybe ordinary people like us can't fathom the behavior of geniuses? Rather, that is to say, their motives are beyond our understanding. Inferences become conjecture, leaving the actual facts behind, I suppose. I might be thinking too hard about this, getting lost in my own labyrinth of thoughts and emotions. I got a thousand CP. CSP. Sleuth something points. Oh, cyber sleuth points, yes. I haven't picked up any cases lately. I better take on a few before Kyoko forces me. There are max level. Ah, I have got. I've gotten into sunbathing lately. Space now under Mr. Sun is the best. You are a plant. Thank you for working on this case and for stopping Nishino with me. Is Marie feeling better? The other one would have been interesting, but. Hey, what's your mother like? All right. We have three new cases. One green, one blue. Red fists and hot sweat. What? Attack restraint chip? Defender patch? Hmm, this one seems interesting, but it also seems like the one that would teleport me. We'll take on that one. A new job has come in. Please come back to the office. But I want to go to the... You can't tell me what to do, Mom. And another. Today was an early start, so I skipped breakfast because I can't scold you. Alright, well, first things first, I should probably save because we're going to be doing some safe scumming. Wrong button. Not move, but Digivolve. Nope, not Doromon, not Falcomon, not Wormmon. Mushroomon wants to digivolve. You can become Tremon, not Fridgemon. Let's take a look at this one. This looks like a projected Pokemon. I mean, I'm not really invested in this Digimon, so. It's not that big a deal if it gets a bum one that I don't care about. I mean, I let it stay as the, the mushroom. And then what's this one? Mud Frigimon. Why can't he be Chocolate Mon? I guess we'll turn you into a tree because it looks kind of cool. And Mushroom Man can become a tree. Congratulations, you are now a champion tree. 10% chance of confusing target when attacking. So you are basically the confusion jerk. And I would hate to run into you if I ever played this game online, which I probably, I, 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 doubt, I doubt I ever would. Now let's see. Solarmon also wants to digivolve. He can become Clockmon. Uh, but let's see. First one first. Ah, Gardromon. Gold. I barely remember you from Tamers. I really need to rewatch more Digimon. And then try and draw Digimon. Alright, Solarmon. And obviously, Numamon. No. Oh! Golem. Golemon. Interesting. I think I had a... An action... Well, not action figure, but a, like a little... F 
figure of him, too. All right. And then the last one Solarmon can become that we don't know about is... Starmon! You are staying Starmon! Because nostalgia. Ryudamon. He can become one of three because, oh yeah, Ryodamon's already a... Oh no, Ryodamon's a rookie. Why is the selection so minuscule then? I will just save over this one. Alright, Ryudamon. Can become... Ooh! Genryomon! Very interesting design. That actually really reminded me the of the designs of the dragons from Flight of Dragons, the animated movie by, uh, uh, what's it, Rankin Bass? Yeah. Very interesting, and it goes along the line. But what's this one? Ooh, Raptor Drama. And we'll look at the last one. I think we've seen... Actually, I think I know exactly what the last one is, because we've seen it like a million times. So really, there was no reason to reload. It's just that I keep forgetting about it. That's the not QB mon So yeah, you can continue down your personalized evolution path, my dude. Go right ahead. But uh, anybody else need... Evolutions. Oh yeah, we can just take a look. Do not recognize them. Okay, is there anybody... Oh, Sunamons can level up. Ah. Uh, can't level up into these, though. So, it uh, looks like we're getting a normal Gabuma. And then if we want to, we can level you up and then D Digivolve you, level you up and see about those other ones. Let's see, Starmon, what can you evolve into? Apparently a greater Starmon and two very s similar Digimons, at least silhouette-wise. And we can also D Digivolve you into Toy Agumon. Hilarious. I think I understand like the... Oh wait, we also got an upgrade thingy. An expansion thingy. Farm expansion. Rank three. So we can also add the Mega SP Generator. I now command you to investigate. And does that mean I can step put more Digimon there? Nope, it is only 10. But I do believe that that shall be that for now. Because we've been going for a decent amount of time. We did a lot of story stuff. Yeah, I'm really digging this game. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you... Oh, and I, I guess we can also... Uh, Save, and then head to the main mu menu for music. But yes, as I was saying, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, you can hit me up on uh, YouTube for Neon Icy Games, the channel where all these streams eventually end up, so you can binge on through to the various games that I've played through. Like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Blue Rescue Team, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Mass Effect 1 and 2, with 3 being uploaded right now. And if you're already one of those people binging through my various thingies, then you can catch me playing these games live at twitch.tv slash neoniceywings. And then if you'd like to see art like my beloved little talkie-talkie in the corner there, then you can see me upload art on Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Tumblr. All of them at 
Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you dudes next time. Bye, bye. Thank you.